Good time of day, I hope you just watch and greetings and welcome back to Kingdom of Aldana, where... I forgot to change my shirt. Whatever. <laughs> it's in the background. It's in the background, that's all that matters. Anyway, uh, previously in our game, uh, Henry and Stellans were resuming, continuing uh, with their fight with uh, Valtari Meduzan, the sister of Dardos as she was pressuring the team, having uh, disabled both Dardos and Leos, but through uh, miracles and timely healing by Melora, the tables were turned, and having slain all the remaining soldiers, the party uh, cornered Valtari. She tried to run away, but with Strega cornering her and with Leos telling her to dance, she had nowhere to run, and uh, Trega was the one who actually chased her down and brutally murdered her uh, before saying that he didn't want to kill her. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> As the convoy was dealing with this post fight situation, figuring out the wounded and uh, killed, regrouping, reestablishing patrols, uh, Anna has borrowed Leos for a short talk with the Crown Prince of Gaul, um, Jean Luc. Uh, together, they have managed to persuade Jean Luc that the assault was actually aimed at him and that it is urgent to move on as fast as they can. So, the plan was for the convoy to leave as early in the morning as possible. But as uh, Hero Stellans have prepared to rest, uh, Zardos, uh, the main yes, hero of the session, has received a call from his other sister, the nice sister, Xenobia, as she wanted to talk. They did talk with Xenobia mostly expressing her new outlook on life, uh, her disappointment in the family, including Zardos, her understanding that the family has been monsters long before their father has undergone any kind of ritual and shared her goals and plans to, well, destroy the family. Uh, leaving Zardos alone, um, she left, she disappeared and apparently somehow managed to gain control of Traeger, dominate his mind and feed him enough illusions to cause him to fight Zavros. Uh, luckily for the two of you, Ardis has gotten a toy recently and managed to uh, disable the domination very quick, swiftly, leading to another argument on the dangers that each of you represent, the danger of individuals, the danger of weapons, the danger of tra traveling together, traveling with the convoy, traveling without the convoy. We figured out that your life sucks and they have no idea what to do. And right about at the end of this argument is where we pick up with do not really having resolved any kind of conflict, but come up with a momentarily solution, I believe. I I think we were about to go to Anna and tell her about yeah. our conclusion. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, we wanted to go to Anna and tell her that it wasn't an attack. No, wait, what do we want to it tell It was not an attack on uh, the prince, it was an attack on Zardos. Oh yeah, it was it was a focus attack on Zardas uh, directly, um, and yeah. that fo further attacks might happen if we stick around, but they also might happen if we do not stick around. Yeah, and at this point, risk is too attack was, yeah, attack was me, but they princess would have been a bonus at that point if anything. I mean, war at the southern border is definitely big for expanding the mark, which is why this can't happen either. Yeah, I think that is also the conclusion we sort of voted on in the end was no. telling her, here. but st sticking here with her. Um, I think there were some opinions that um, if she doesn't want it or they don't want it, then we won't. But I'm not sure if we decided uh, on that. Definitely. Yeah, I think, I think we... it was to talk to her and see her opinions before. Yeah. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because it could also, uh, if we stick around and she know, knows of the risk, but the prince doesn't, and then it comes out, we also had that argument of not telling her that she yeah. might be placed in that position. I also yeah. think that's the better choice, but... Yeah, I think it was to let her decide whether or not to let him know. Also, Alice was democratically yeah. overruled! Yeah. I, he considers that. Yeah. So I think um, I'm still being carried, which is lovely. Yes, you're still the burrito. Good you're the most it. efficient corpse I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically you've seen a more efficient corpse in the tomb. True. True. <laughs> um, Even no two, actually. <laughs> Yeah, Arliss is currently in my hands, right? I need to return him mm -hmm. to the rug. Yes. The rug is somewhere back there. Yeah, so I'll go and return him to the rug. Alright. So, uh, the hut is gone. You all uh, walked out of it. Uh, Arliss has returned to his... Um... Favorite place in the world, yes. Mm-hmm. Carpets, Unfended. assisted mobility device. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's find a way a way to make wheelchair out of this. But, um... So, I think we're going and or floating on over to Anna's tent. Yeah. And the bubble around it. <clears throat> yep. Uh, <clears throat> we're. We're knocking on our tent a lot this evening. Yes, you are. I wonder whose fault it is. There's a lot of action to be had, you know, so... Yeah. Anyway. The last one, it's got a few hours since the last one. Or a couple of minutes. No, no, it has been a while since mm, I've been there. It has been a while. There was like a watch or two in between. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So, um, you approach the tent and request an opportunity to talk to Anna. Uh, the knights uh, at the tent are gonna ask you uh, what has happened and uh, if there was another assault. Um, I would say there was no other assault, but uh, we have received information what they were looking for. And had a heated argument. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. You were screaming. <laughs> that wasn't screaming. Uh... That was discussing loudly. I hate to see you scream, then. <laughs> Yeah, you probably scream. would. Well, in any case, it does seem yeah. that if it could be considered a good side effect of you arguing cloudily, is that uh, it has awoken basically everybody. So uh, you don't need to wake Anna up because you already have waken her up. Okay. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. It's like, yeah, I heard everything. <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, that is actually a good question. Okay. Uh, Disadvantage for sleeping? <laughs> she was sleeping at first, not after that. Disadvantage for being drowsy after waking up? Uh, so I can assume your character didn't stop the domination because he was too drowsy to do that? Yeah, that sounds so... Uh, you, should, you should really put that in next time, yes. <laughs> okay, okay, I will. Uh, can you load your camera a little bit? Or lift yourself up. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, as previously, Anna does approach the barrier from the other side and says softly, I've heard you shouting. It sounded like there was a fight going on. Um, okay. 
So we have found out what uh, the attackers were looking for. And I say this really quietly, so only she, uh, uh, she can hear and the rest of Heron's talents who are probably standing really close. Uh, as well as whoever else is on the inside of the tent. On the inside, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which is our two guards and Kavagas. No, the, the guards are on outside. Well, there are also two that were inside with her, no? No. The her two person guards are on the outside inside, uh, oh. only her maid and uh, Kavagas. Kavagas, yeah. Okay. Um, and we need to go someplace where it's fucking quiet, where no one can listen. That would be excellent. This is the safest place. You could whisper to the wall. And can I whisper? We're in, that we're in the middle of here? a camp. I mean, you can try. But... We're in the middle of a camp, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we should really take a quick stroll through the woods. Wait, what? We didn't talk about this. Just get away from this place. Like, where else is it going to be safer anyway? Are you inviting me to come with you? Yeah, I am suggesting it, yes. Because I don't think I'll succeed in persuading anybody to let it happen. Yeah. Yeah, not after things tonight. However, there's like a pause. Um, Frega, could you take a step forward? You take a step forward to the a wall? Bit I mean, to the right. The wall. Go to the right. Okay. As you do that, uh, Anna steps out through the barrier and right in front of you with your massive body kind of like providing cover for her, cover. and she whispers hastily, <laughs> Quick, cast your illusion magic on me. Make me invisible. I'm gonna use my fifth level spell slot to make her invisible. <laughs> I mean, if you're having a party, you can make her invisible as well. We have... Can Melora make her invisible? She can. Uh, What's... Can she? Melora always has invis prepared from her circle. Mm. Oh. oh, let's see. I don't just don't know if she has hey, slots. spell slots, yeah. Uh, it's a bit level 2, yes, she can. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't mind it. Okay, then take back your 5th level spell slot. Okay. Lord will spend okay. her second spell slot to do that. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, in that case, we're gonna head out and lead her away from the camp. Uh, um... Well, I don't think you're gonna head out. More like... More like she's gonna... Very tactlessly ask Carlos to move a little bit. On the road. I can't. I move him, I shove him a bit and make room for her. Yeah. It feels the carpet get a little bit heavier. As she kind of like sits down on the side. Right. Let's go. Okay. We get away from the camp out of listening distance. Alright. Um, I mean, considering that there are no nearby wooded areas, you have to get like a couple hundred feet away to get enough of a distance that the sound would not carry. But uh, yeah. you do so, hoping that uh, there's going to be no more siblings coming around to get here. I'm hoping for more. Um, more to kill. Yes. Oh, yeah. um, I, as a player, hope for that as well. <laughs> uh, I, as a DM, would like to continue the campaign. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, when, whenever we reach yeah. the yeah. Uh, like a safe space, I wouldn't say. Oh, let's say you do. Okay, um, we have found out that it was Zar Zardos' sister, as you have known. Uh, she wasn't after you. Or the prince. Or the prince. She was after Zardos. 
and I mean, we did kill kill her, but there are more in his sisters. Family. There is another sister. She was here, we assume, because she tried to use magical means to kill Zardas again. And we fear the, the attacks might not stop until either we are dead or the others are dead. <clears throat> and I appreciate the tact, Leos, but um, since the option the group chose is to be forthright with the information, I think it would be good to say that um, she dominated Trego in order to try and get Zardos. That's the magical means that he was referring to. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. We should be... So, if she has the potential to overtake anyone and make them do whatever she desires, we wanted to inform you about this because some of us see a bigger danger if we stick around, but... His family might know that, or they surely know that we are traveling with you. So if any other attacks happen, it's most likely going to happen around this caravan. And it begs the question that we couldn't really answer. Should we stick around? Because it would make you safer because the attacks might come anyway if we stick around or not, or if we should remove ourselves from the caravan, create a fuss somewhere so they direct their attention to to us. But it could be beneficial for them to kill you anyway, to attack you. It would ca cause a war, most likely, if they kill either you or the prince during this trip. And war means bloodshed, and bloodshed is what they are after. Yes but also Zardos. Which again is why me being here is a bad idea. It's a, it's a risk and we needed to inform you about this because I don't think that this is a de decision that we should make without your knowledge about this. But I would also like to point out the other side a little more. We are probably the most capable party to get rid of these siblings of Sardos. Getting rid of them significantly weakens the people who are trying to spiral Aldana into doom. So being here and um, provoking them to come is one of the best ways we have to keep you safe and weaken them if they come for it. If we do it somewhere else, and they get to you or the prince, that's war, and the southern border is gonna be blood. Which is why the majority of the group thought it would be best if we stayed together and here. But obviously it's dependent on your decision to. So you say that the attack was here and in the embassy was because of that man. He he was the target. Yes. yes. But killing you would have further furthered their cause as well. A very big tea, a very great margin. How big, I don't know. But neither do we know how much it would have furthered their cause if they kill Zardos. <clears throat> Either way, if we stick around together, we can protect you both to the best of our skills, but it places a mark upon you both at the same time and it would create far more collateral damage 
or it could create more collateral damage if we stay around and they are actually only targeting Zardos. Which is why I generally like the idea of me leaving and you guys staying to <laughs> protect her. We already discussed it's safe. No, it's not safer. Then you're just out there alone and you're... They'll, it'll not be just one of your siblings that comes after you. They'll come like she did today. With a fucking half an army to take you down. The same thing could also happen if we stick around here. And they have used an army to attack the Blind Forest. And they have send Votari along with additional creatures. There has been a significant change in their tactics for this second attack. Who's to say what they're going to bring for the third time that they're going to try to take Zardos down? I think preparation probably matters a great deal in what they are able to bring. And um, mobile camp is maybe not quite as easy to target as the Blind Forest was. I'm not sure how it works, but it makes little sense afterwise. otherwise. And yet it is quite likely that we have lost dozens of good men just because they wanted to kill others. We also well, have to consider the, the possibility that, it, that that was a ruse. But based on our assessment, it is focused on Zardos. Then here's what's going to happen. Your presence with the convoy was not required to begin with. Zardos shall leave for all he desires. I would like Leos, Melora, and Trago to stay with me. Guard me, the Crown Prince, and the Caravan against any other possible attempts. What about Arliss? It's not going to happen that way. The Viscount is welcome to do whatever he desires. It's not going to happen that way. We can't afford to let Sardos leave. You are putting a life of a single man or a life no. of many other. No, that's not what's happening. He dies. There's... Yes. The, the enemies get significantly stronger in a Did way that might that? make us unable to overpower them. I think we've... Uh, okay. Do we know that they're hunting for Zadros for his sword? In character? Yeah, that's also... I believe so. I believe so, yeah. In that case, okay. I'll In that leave case, yeah. We could also just make sure, if we all not know about this, we could get rid of that weapon, destroy it. How? I have no clue, but I would start with throwing it into lava. Or trying to melt it down in the forge, I don't know. That just means us leaving anyway, since, I don't know, I have no idea where the closest volcano is, but the one we visited is pretty far north of here. No, yeah, that's a valid argument. But at least if we... I mean, there are other people that we could contact who could help us get rid of this weapon. In any case, what you intend to do with this weapon does not matter in the short run. The convoy must leave, must reach Austria and go. As I've said, I require Leos, Trager and Melor to stay with me. I cannot tell you, Trager, what to do, but If it makes you feel better, then for Lewis and Melora, you can consider this an order.
Gotcha. And are you ordering Sardas to leave? Yes, I am. Princess, I would advise against that. If they get their hands on him, if they get their hands on whatever he possesses, Tell he'll me. be significantly stronger. If which you're... Makes information that they are after him is correct and if his sibling and those things she brought us were not here today how easy would it have been for the three for the four of you to deal with the cavalrymen how many people would have died in the process they would not have sent just cavalrymen they didn't they, Zardas wasn't there when the Blind Forest went down to an army and one of his brothers. If they want something, a bloodshed to appear, for, for example by provoking war between Gaul and Aldana, they will send the appropriate forces. That is why I'm and keeping if, as many of you as I can afford with me. You want all of them. I want as many of them as do not represent a security risk. It's too dangerous for me to be here. The only way I could agree with you, Princess, is if Zardus is in a place where they can't reach him. And I know only one place that may be, maybe two places that answer that. I'm sure if we talk to Rubius, he can secure a safe place in the tower. Tower is not a safe space. Yeah. <clears throat> if we stay together, we're stronger. Have you considered the possibility that it is thanks to his presence that our location was so easily discovered? Oh, that's not his presence. That's just um, all of us here. It's Every one of us spot a convoy been. this big. Here's the question. Here's the thing. They do know the weapon, don't they? So it would be easier easier for them to use magic to locate it. I think finding us by magic isn't entirely hard either. That's Since fair. Amzustos has managed to disappear without... Yeah. I think they will attack anyways, even if Zardus is not here. They gain so much from just attacking us, they won't skip the opportunity. What have they exactly gained from attacking us? If Zardus is not here, then they will attack us to start a war. And they, they all whether or not anyways. it was true... They do still want the princess's blood for their sacrifice as well. But and they like I said that's more of might be more of a bonus to me, or maybe the other way around. I have no idea. Then either way, both of you are the marks. Too many targets in one place can't be a safe thing. Honestly, it makes the entire thing safer for it makes the it prince simpler also. and Anna. Because if, one if they're argument. going for him first, that's plenty of time for Kavagas and Rubius, in the worst of cases, to sacrifice us and get the two of them the fuck out. While they go for Zardos first, because he's a little higher on their priority list. And splitting us up... Uh would be harder. You can't. I can't be in two places to protect both of you if you're not in the same place. I would ask you to reconsider, please. Very well. Then I shall only take leaves.
There's work to be done in gold. He will be instrumental to it. Um, yeah, he's also instrumental to the Talon. The Talon. I honestly don't know how vital I am to the Talon. I spend years of my life honing my my tongue and my wit more than I have ever honed any combat skills. If you can survive with only four of, of you, it should be you four without me. I The best thing that I can do in combat is distract people. Make them dance for a second or two. I want to stay with a caravan. This is what I'm good at. I can gather allies for us. Leos, you're capable of long distance transportation, correct? Also that. How many times I can am... you do that? Two times. And, and here's my uh, final short, decision. Short distance uh, some more. You shall come with me while the rest of you are welcome to stay in Austria. It is a fort, a well-definite place. It will not be attacked by an army, and the four of you can protect each other from an assassin. If the caravan reaches goal safely, then Liz can pick you up. If not, if we are assaulted, fighting back will be our last priority. Master Rubius will secure the crown prince, and Julius will secure me. Gotcha. This plan is now I would like garbage. you to return me to the camp. This plan is a hot piece of garbage. I start uh, dragging the rug, I guess. <laughs> How far is uh, the you are capital a couple from oh. Fort Austria? Uh, I think it's another three days of travel. I see notes somewhere. Uh, Where are my numbers? I had numbers because I expected this question. Uh, four days from Austria. So basically, uh, if you if the, if the caravan leaves us on the spot, uh, as planned, they're gonna be in the fort on the eleventh, um, on the night of eleventh, basically, and. Then on the fifteenth, they're gonna be uh, in the capital. So. Well, I guess we return Anna to her tent. We do. But we kind of need to wait for Melora to hear if she wants to join or not. Well, she'll decide in a flashback. In a flashback? Yeah, a flashback, yeah. You remember that you have decided. Yes, I mean, it seems it's the last plan is to take on Leos anyway. Well. So, so once we're between ourselves again, okay, yeah, yeah. So you get her back. We and... it. Since, or does anyone still want to say anything to Anna? Yeah. No, she's pretty. She decided finally, and with conviction. So once uh, it's back to the five of us, 
I'll say again, this plan is a hot piece of garbage. And this is exactly why I said we shouldn't involve her in this decision. She has no idea about the dangers that are actually coming this way. We're the only ones who experience them. We're the ones who can judge them. Everyone else just has to go by the image they have in their hand of what kind of danger this is. Splitting us up is the worst thing we can do. And I disagree with you entirely, Leos. You're not just distracting people in combat. It's much more than that. And it's not just about combat. It's about everything else, too. Without you, in every other situation, we are fucking lost in a lot of cases. I mean, these two here are great, but um, apart from hitting people really, really hard, they don't do a lot in other situations. No offense. What's that supposed to mean? You're a vital part of this organization. And I say we shit on whatever uh, she tells us to do and do what we think is the best. I mean, we can travel along as clouds for quite a while without any issue, right? Out of character, we, she could, what, hold it up for 24 hours in total? Yeah, she could. Three spells left? Yeah. It's level six, so six, seven, eight, yeah, sounds about right. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll just wait and kind of fall end of the day or whatever. I don't distance away, but yeah. I mean, to be fair, technically taking Xardos into the air is pretty safe way to secure him. <laughs> It's like, we need to get you to the plane, Mr. President! I mean, do you guys so disagree? Mad. Does anyone it's... think this is a great idea? Splitting us up? Or does anyone here think that maybe she is just uh, riding a wave of emotions that are entirely unrelated to this issue when she's making these decisions? I don't think I think so. I could find an even worse plan. Well, I'm yes. Happy. I mean, that? I go north, you go south, uh, he goes west, um, someone goes to the, air, east, to the plane of and air someone alone. flies up, okay? That sounds <laughs> like the best plan I've had yet. <laughs> and then they all died. Alone. Does anyone think it's a good idea, what she proposed? Honestly, I don't think there are good ideas. I think they're just bad she, and worse ideas. She said just... For Leos to stick with her. That we could do that while we are in the air watching. And once shit hits the fan and we come out of that cloud form and help out, I think we'll be better off. Or she'll just believe it proves her point that we shouldn't have been around anyway, or I shouldn't have been there. And so I was close enough to be there, meaning close enough to trigger another tech. Who cares about what she thinks in that case if we keep us and them safe? Again, she just ordered Leos to stick with her. Yeah, that's fine. Good. And for me not to be near them. We won't be near near them. I mean, there is another option. I mean, we kill her. Well, what what is the other option? Uh, I think my sister may be right. My family has to go and. If could just kill me and you know, get rid of the weapons. Uh, no. If, if we go hunt for them right now, but leave the convoy uh, open, plus we're no, minus no, that's, 
That's not what he's suggesting. He's suggesting we kill him right now. Saying apparently we, have, the we, we all have to go. Zardos Maybe. Maybe. Killing who? I get Killing Zardos. I get why you're saying that, but that's not an option. There's one thing I am convinced of in regards to your family. The only thing that I'm convinced of is that you, you actually are good. And the only one from your family. You have made some weird fucking decisions. Including killing yourself. yourself. None, um, none of the people here are gonna want to see you die. Especially by uh, death by uh, us. Or a suicide, uh, call it suicide. That's not gonna happen. If we want to have anyone standing, it should... At least I want you to survive. Because I mean, you have brought... Well... You have brought the, the threat to our attention. And although I know that you're a shit magnet, uh, we're not gonna kill the shit magnet. I mean, just guys, think of this as this entirely great scenario we had in a dream where there are multiple ways we can take, but the correct path is to take none of them and take one that we make for ourselves. Just so think of it that way. If it was good enough for the fucking god over there, then or whatever he is, then do it'll be good enough for Do this. you think we should do nothing? No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm not. Um, I think like Zardos did, make a new, uh, forge a new path. <laughs> what? Uh, I... Just realizing that. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Just realized that, yeah, like you said, my choices haven't been the greatest. And as they say, the uh, apparently the. I was never much of a believer in the idea that the road to the Nine Hells is paved with good intentions, mainly because there's no shortage of bad ones in the world, but... Did I, did I ever tell you how I got into the service of, uh, of the king? No. I tried to steal a flute. Hmm. It all started with a bad decision. And fortunately enough, there were people around that saw something in me, trusted in me. And these people here are the same for you. It's, I think we all trust that you have made some bad decisions, but during difficult circumstances, and you're at least heading into a way that is good. And uh, I want to apologize for raising my voice. It was the heat of the moment. I feel like I'm out of safe waters since I joined you. And everything goes beyond the capacity of what I'm actually good at. You do have a point that we have two targets and it's easier to keep them safe together. What we could do as Alice proposed, I stick with the princess. And you follow as clouds. Keep a distance. I agree. I mean, we can set dark, uh, we sent, uh, can set camp in the dark. And uh, just somewhat away from uh, your camp. Yeah. Follow as clouds for most of the day, thanks to Melora. And. This journey will be over in no time. Or in more attacks. Would this, uh... I know this is minor, but would this, like... This could um... be... This could be called treason because you're breaking an order of the princess. She no! Say, don't follow. We, serve, she didn't... we serve the king. We don't serve her for first. Well, she is... Second, the talent doesn't actually... Isn't entirely... Pledged to anyone in particular. Oh, it was pledged. a homage when we created it initially, but it was never a okay. We are working for the government deal. We are an asset. 
and we like Haldana, and that's what it is. But um, if people make stupid decisions, I'm gonna look out for Aldana the way I see fit, not the way they see fit. Yeah, oh, it's I was about to, to ask just for if... forgi forgiveness instead of permission, right? Mm. I was just about to ask if entering Gaul uh, undocumented would be. Oh, uh, definitely. You know, oh, fuck yeah. I don't know. I've Who never been to Gaul before. <laughs> I mean, the security can't be tighter than Nebos. It's a huge country, so... Yeah, but there's <laughs> different. Like, Nebo, he knows we're coming, you know? Not even... Like, if we're not going through the... All right, could we stop talking about proper Nebo channels? because I hate that fucking place. And I... You just haven't, you know, walked no, around no, no, with no, me. No, 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 no. There's nothing good about Nebo. As not long true. as the patrician is... ruling. That's a little uh, very black and white. I know. But, uh... It's it's not the topic that we're discussing. Let's not get into why Nebo is shit or why Nebo is actually cool or whatever. It's very cool. Ad adjective you would use. Fine. I see you're triggered by the patrician, so yes. we'll leave it for now. Okay. I mean, we have our plan. We just need Milord to object. Uh... Not sure it's a great one, but we have a plan. Yeah, and we don't need great plans. That's what we are for. We make up for the fault in our plans by being ourselves. It works out somehow. <sighs> and someone scratch my nose again. Thank you. Once they arrive to... Uh, the capital and the us, uh, you know, and they make probably their way back. Will we need to stick around more? No, once they're back in Kreuzon, I mean, the way back can be very fast if we wanted to, right? One circle of teleportation later. And we are back in Kreuzung with everyone who wants to. Wouldn't that mean letting them know that we were there the whole time? Mm -hmm. Yes, and? Well, if that happens, I never knew about your plan. No, of course not. Of course not. I followed the orders. Of we we definitely managed to lie to you who's used to seeing through lies and has been working in that field for the last 15 years. I mean, look, look at Trego. Look how good he can lie. Wait, what? Tell him a lie, Trego. Come, come on, tell him a lie. Um, That's what I mean. I'm trying to think. That's I'm what just... I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You have to think w w for coming up with the lie. That's... Yes, he's he's definitely struggling with it. You nice. see, like he's still thinking about it. Oh man, that's that's something. I'm just saying this. Uh, this might go along with what I just said about the you know, road to the nine hills. Hon honest, like yeah, honestly, that there, there is no good way to handle any of this, and yeah, it. Ask for forgiveness instead of permission. Good choice. Is I mean, I don't think she'll tell the pra crown prince anything, so it'll mostly just be... We won't ask, have to ask for his forgiveness, probably. Only hers. Meanwhile, in her tent, <clears throat> Princess Sana is sitting in front of a listening device, stands up and goes, It's treason, and then! <laughs> EXECUTE ORDER 66! She's invisible still, right? She's probably she right is. outside our tent, listening. <laughs> <laughs> I presumed we dropped that, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we probably dropped it. Uh, Miller is so <laughs> confused and out of her mind right now, she might have just forgotten to drop it. <laughs> Melora's passive perception is so high, I'm pretty sure even invisible Anna can't stop uh, on her. Let's check it. Crap! <laughs> and this doesn't always help, as I learned. 
Well, that's. Uh, uh, try to get some sleep once more. Yeah. yeah, well, since she's asking him to stick with her, does that mean Leos is not going to sleep? I will ask her kindly that I can take a nappy on some, on, a, on a wagon because otherwise I will not work as some sort of security measure. Otherwise, I will, I'm almost as effective as a wet towel. And as we all know, wet towel is one of the most powerful and crucial weapons. <laughs> yeah, it whips pretty hard. It whips real good. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. Yeah, uh, I'll get the hut up. Um, or probably would have done this before we talked, but at, when I have to leave, it will be dispelled. Um, yeah. Are we all That'll okay with this? I know that this is not the situation that we we're hoping for, and it, I definitely contributed to that, and I apologize for this. I made a rash decision, and... Eh, don't worry. We've all made shitty decisions. Thank you. Thank you for saying that, I appreciate it. Uh... No, Apart it, from Melora, I, I don't think she's made a shit decision yet. Melora's kind of like sitting up and mindly drooling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have nice back. wisdom. I take it back, Ralph. What Ralph? Ralph was a bad decision to take Ralph along with us. Oh. Was a bad decision, the worst one. <laughs> no, actually, we could we could we could bury the sword in Ralph. Oh, you're sorry. lucky. You're gonna <laughs> live a little longer. <laughs> really scared, right? I'm the car. <laughs> Mm. Sorry, we interrupted you, Leos. Oh, well, we could drop the sword into into Ralph, couldn't we? Maybe he can destroy it with his uh, chest acid. You see, that well, seems to absorb anything. I'm not down with, yeah. <laughs> okay. That thing is beyond comprehension as of yet. I really don't want to add another dimension into it. If you, what if he takes on? What if the princess takes on, he, like dominates him? He, that chest gets her personality, then we're all fucked. Wait, but it wasn't the sword that did the takeover? It was Zardas' sister, right? Yeah, but uh, what if this can do it too? This way. Oh. Well, then it would be. Then it would us just be fighting another curiosity, wouldn't it? Well, it, would, it wouldn't be us fighting, since uh, it's immune to magic. It'll be oh. those two. Oh, well, in that case, have fun. Well, yeah. All right, let's... Uh, we could we could contact Lady Kazar and ask if she has any knowledge about destroying uh, sentient weapons. That's a good idea. But I'm gonna go to sleep, you can... Meanwhile, Jason is like, But my eyes, you! It's okay, I got a replacement, my apparently. Ah. Uh. Replacement to destroy planets with, yes? Yeah. One of the 12 swords I apparently have or something like that. Way too many of these. Alright. So, uh, sleep? Yeah. Alright. As long as it takes until they wake me to take me. Am I correct in remembering that Leos was the only one who didn't cast any spell during the fight between Zardos and Trega? That is correct. I believe so, yeah. Mm. I did not. I did cast spell. Fuck, I teleported. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Then you, Leos, in theory, can resume your long rest. Everybody else has to start from scratch. Yeah, what time of day is it? Oh, well, it was about 5 when you started the fight. Considering okay. how long we've been talking, it's close to 6. It's actually literally 6 because we've been talking for an hour. 
So it's most likely that that the caravan is going to start moving soon, right? In like an hour, yeah. Yeah, and that it, well, in that, in that case, it doesn't make sense for me to attempt to take take a long rest, right? Not really. Um, be interrupted anyway. Yeah, most likely. Well, he did sleep for six hours because there was my watch, Melora's watch, and Zardis's watch. I think. Mm. Maybe. No. So basically, he's done all of the sleeping he needs to. No, There's no. only like two hours of chilling left over. Mm. No? It was on my watch that they attacked, and I was uh, after Melora, and Melora was after, I think, Sardis. Well, I might have calculated the length of watches yeah. wrong, and made it happen too soon, but you start your long rest at 3 in any way. Okay. And it happened so at 5, so only after three one and watch. 5, he had. Mm. What? It's hard to say. Your, your only no. option to continue long rest is uh, sleep on the carpet and take it with you and have somebody not wake up you in the morning but have you attached to the caravan or something, which is extremely overcomplicated. <laughs> but that's your only option to take a long rest without uh, being left behind. And I'm not saying this just because I want to take the carpet away from Arles. Huh? I just come along, like I just sleep on there too. <laughs> the issue. I don't think you have much of a choice in this situation. Can I have a short rest then? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably then go to the camp and uh, wait there, be, be, and then ask for a place on a caravan to uh, to sleep and get a proper long rest. Then. Oh, so it's basically dawn. No. Nice. Yes. So, is everybody taking a short rest? No, I'm taking a long rest. Okay. <clears throat> so, is everybody who's staying uh, behind taking a long rest? I mean, that's probably just oh. who's left over. Me and Melora? I mean, everyone. No, everyone. Except Leos. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm down for that. Um, Nothing happens in those uh, seven hours. <laughs> I mean, the, the tent suddenly disappears, but you know, other than that, nothing. No, no, I mean, just like to Leo. Even if Leo dies, the tent will not disappear. No, m because he leaves. Oh, that's what he leaves right. the tent. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'd probably still put watches. Yes. But yeah, we could get a long rest. You guys would definitely take watches. You are missing people to take <laughs> the full eight hour long rest. No, we're not. You need uh, a watch, can be two hours. You have four yeah. people mm -hmm. left. All four people need to take watches, otherwise, you will not cover the whole eight Including hours. Including you, Arlis. Leos, Leos is here at the start. Uh, He's for one hour. I mean, I'm just lying on the carpet anyway. <laughs> I can't Still do anything awake. else. Just, just yell. Okay. I can sl I can lie there awake for an hour. I have spin around on the carpet. So. <laughs> yeah, can can we split like the first watch between Arnas and me? Sure. Yeah, sure. Can we take our oh this gets this back? Oh. So let's attempt to take our long rest. What is it gonna be? Um, Leos, Arles, I don't know. Tregas, Arles, Milora. Sure. I mean, it's gonna be daylight. I mean, then. I'm, I'm gonna be either before Melora or after Melora. Fine. Jeez. It only makes sense. Sure. <laughs> I wanna be either woken up. Interception by my... checks at disadvantage, everybody. Isn't it daylight already? No. Oh no, it's uh, oh. winter. Uh, yeah. Per check. Love these. They're my favorite too. Come on. Come on. 
Seven. Mighty seven. We just need Zardus to roll an eight, and then we'll have oh, six, seven, okay. eight, nine. Oh. Actually, right. managed to get above ten this time. Okay. Um, so, uh, an hour passes, Julius, finish your watch, and you wake up Arles, and you leave the tent, which at this point dissipates as you join uh, the caravan, and... I guess the one good thing is that you get to ride uh, with Anna and Kalagas. So at least you're in a nice carriage. Um, yeah, and with that, uh, Caravan packs up and leaves, leaving uh, the rest of you behind. Some of you are asleep, some of you are watching. Uh, it's seven. The caravan dissipates. Uh, Aris, you spend some time rolling around on your carpet. You watch the caravan leave. You try to fight for sleepiness a couple times. Uh, then you poke. Which is really hard when you're just like laying yes. there and you can't really yes. keep yourself active. Yes. Uh, then you poke Trega awake and fall asleep. Trega, you take your watch, uh, which goes by rather boringly. You are actually the one who's gonna watch Sun uh, rise at like about 8 eight thirty, I mm -hmm. think, in the morning. And uh, then you poke Nilora awake, who uh, also takes her watch with a 15. She finishes her watch, reports no disturbances, wakes up Zardos. And 9, 10, 11. And you, Zardos, 12, finish your own watch at 1 pm. With the four of you being left behind safely and without anybody attacking you. There are a couple. Nah, you wouldn't really see them, really. Oh, maybe Damn squirrels. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, I mean, so can we update our uh, sheet for a long rest? Oh, uh, yes, the four of you can. And by the way, Alice, as you wake up, you feel like you can move your body again. Excellent. So, I think everybody else had already stored their strengths with magic. Yeah, but I think Leos didn't. Oh, then Leos, you're the, one, the only one missing strengths, because you took no, re no rest and no uh, magical yeah. assistance. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, in that case, you are being a weak noodle, kind of like being very <laughs> drowsy inside of the carriage, and... I mean, it's pretty quiet inside for at least like the first couple hours, as nice as you know Anna got uh, proper rest. She's in a bit better shape because she didn't have to fight, <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, not much rest either. Uh, Kavagas looks okay, but he just like remains quiet, seemingly sensing the sore mood. Uh, in the carriage, um, but about after the sunrise, as you are traveling, uh, Anna speaks up and asks you, So, what yes. is your assessment? on the chances that either they themselves or my father are gonna send them after me anyway. <clears throat> mm. I. But, I mean, they are not stupid. And... Um, they 
probably will. I I honestly don't know what they will do, but uh, it's difficult to say. I think it's it's not unlikely that they might follow. It is. It might also be that they are going to look for a way to get rid of that sword. And if they do, that might reduce the chance that they are actually going for Zardas. But, who's to say? After all of this, are you truly certain you can trust that man? He seems to have brought far more trouble than Good. If... Let, let me put it like this. He's... He's e somewhat easy to read. And... I've never seen him speak a lie. That convinced me. That means that either he told the truth and he just comes from a bad place trying to do good. And he may be what in our profession we call a shit magnet. <laughs> uh, but he means good. And what he does, he means uh, he does with conviction. So. Either that, or he's the greatest liar that I've ever seen. And then I would have to tip my hat. But I'm well, convinced that he wants to do good. I'm sure that both you and my father meant well when you joined the convoy. Despite me specifically asking father to not do that. Maybe it was for the best, maybe it was for the worst. But the truth is... A lot of people died. Yes, that is. You have an absolutely valid point there, but. What if they had attacked and we wouldn't have been here? Then. More would have died. You might have had to flee. Who knows if uh, Rubius would have managed uh, to get the prince out and. What do you think? What might have happened if that all had transpired? What it might have changed the the view of the prince, on the kingdom. Have you forgotten that Master Rubius is most powerful mage in Aldana? Yes, I have not forgotten that. I think Karas is rubbing off on you. I think there is uh, one very important thing. I think Rubius could have handled lots of it, if not everything, uh, everything. I don't know. I've never seen him fight. But there's a strength in numbers that he might not have, would not have been able to make up for. I find myself be being conflicted about this whole situation. I'm not denying that your presence during the attack was valuable. I'm just denying your belief that my mother used to have a saying doesn't translate well from Elvish, but the meaning is something along the lines of you want to be a cork for every single bottle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's Heron's talent for you. Well, most of you are not trained for what we're going for. That was another reason why I didn't want to bring you with. There are far more ways to start a war than just killing Khmer the Crown Prince. Anything you say wrong, any bad movement, is enough to escalate a conflict. I can trust you 
to not do anything bad or to keep your mouth shut when it is necessary. The others... Speaking, speaking of keeping my mouth shut, um, um, I would... How do you want to proceed with um, with all the ne negotiations and my presence? Um, <sighs> I would prefer... I, I would offer to keep my mouth shut as long as I'm not addressed directly and speak only when you give me permission. How many languages do you speak? Three. I speak Elvish, Common, two. I can count. Common and Elvish. I'm tired. Yeah. No, that's not of much help. Unfortunately, no. Not, not really. Well, it depends if, on whether they follow orders or not. If you're the only one who comes, we'll just say you're my chronicler. You'll be keeping the minutes of our meetings. But if our trip is successful and if everybody is brought in, we'll have to come up with a cover story. I do believe, however, that it would be of benefit to us to bring Jean-Luc into the fold. He is literally our only ally in Gaul. And if you are to be part of this, you need to be briefed on the dangers we are to face there. As for our current danger, I think it is valuable to maintain the story that the attack was against him. If they come again, then that is true. If they do not come, then we could say that you have killed the mastermind and shattered their force, which is true. Assuming they and don't have they, more. Yes. And if they come again, it proves it adds to the cover story. Yes. Um, I yeah, worry I mean, that... I, sorry. I worry that the sister of Zardas has allies within Gaul. <sighs> there are many people that would wish for Crown Prince to die. His death in Aldan is far more valuable, but even in Gaul it will be dangerous. Even more so if they manage to kill every single one of us and frame us for his death. And if you say that there is another that can dominate minds, then, well, who's to say that you or me will not be the assassin. Well, if, if that person were to make such an attempt, I can only hope that she is within 60 feet of me and I can see her. I do have means to dispel those kind of effects, but I just need to see them. I can also interrupt those who attempt to lay such a spell upon someone, but I need to witness it, otherwise I cannot do much about it. Um, Kavagas pipes up loudly, then kind of like lowers his voice to a more uh, manageable level. <laughs> Well, I do not really like this kind of magic myself. It is so no, ma not manly. But if I remember my lessons correctly, yes, 
That is about the range that is appropriate. 60 feet. And I too have means of magical counter warfare. That's good. That's really good. That also means that I could concentrate on getting us out to safety. Good, good, because I cannot. I can get a lot of people out of danger. Up, let's say up to eight willing creatures. That is a lot of people. Yes. So, Princess, uh, you say that we should tell the Prince a bit more on the attacks. Oh, um, yes. Uh, we should tell him that we have... ...interrogated the... ...the diseased. I believe there is such magic. And there's no need to know that he didn't have it. And learn that he was indeed the target of the assault, but that there may, may be more to come. For that reason, we are to stay together, to travel quickly. And the heroes' talents are in pursuit of the leads. Um, a quick out of character question: Did I hear correctly that that uh, it was an attempt on him, or it was it not was, an attempt? It was. Yes, it was an attempt. attempt. There may be more. And, and the Heron's talent is investigating. Yeah, them. yeah. Basically, you're trying to intercept the danger before they come. And um, um, okay, and that also raises the question should you stick together because if you're in one place i can guarantee can guarantee to get us all out and for example teleport us back to the castle yes you're right well this carriage does has one more riding space we'll swap up to the next break now uh, master kavagas perhaps you and master rubis could swap as well Congress. Yes, yes, of course. I am very saddened by the fact that I do not possess the strength of Master Rubius to protect you, your highness, but it is a sensible decision. I am not offended at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Leos is not laughing, but I am. And uh, just okay. smiles. There's like a glint of uh, I made a joke in his eyes. I will be on the lookout. This carriage is too big for me anyway. Alright. Uh, anything else you want to say, Um, Let me think. Um, no, I will, I will, I will say, to, well, I will say to Anna that I will keep, keep quiet and follow her lead, um, and back up whatever she deems necessary to say as best as, as I can, um, and otherwise I would stay out of conversation as much as possible. Uh, um, in that case, I guess, like, during the next stop, uh, Kavagas is gonna exit and Rubius and Janluk are gonna join you. Mm -hmm. And before that happen happens, Anna is gonna um, tell you that... Uh, oh, remember, Janluk was quite excited about meeting the Heron Stellons. I'm sure he'll have a lot of questions for you. Just... Um... I need to sleep. Right. Um, right now, I don't have a lot of energy left, and I have been weakened by magical means. Um, I mean, I'm happy to answer some of them, but um, before he, he gets too inquisitive and I say something that he shouldn't know, um, I... 
need a place to sleep. Then I suggest you uh, make yourself comfortable and um, pretend to be asleep until it is true. Thank you. He falls asleep immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, well, you try to fall asleep because, like, right yeah. now the carriage has stopped. Um, okay. Um, so you're gonna be on a ride. Uh, meanwhile, sometime later, uh, the four people that are left behind, what's your plan? What's your course of action? If you have any. Cloud it up. Are you summoning Gintarn? Yes, I am. Big, my big brother in faith, come forth! So, are you being the cloud or are you riding? We're gonna be in clouds Tarnia's with my brother. Hmm. In Tarnia the cloud. In Tarnia the red flamed cloud reindeer. Not a reindeer. Nah. But he had a very shiny aura. Um, tiny form. He can change if I summon him in big. Yeah, uh, I'm just yeah. saying he should change before we turn into clouds. No. <laughs> Otherwise, he comes back and needs to transform first. It's like, oh, there's a huge fire. Wait, the fire is gone. What was that? <laughs> Let's go investigate. <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, so. so do you want eight hmm? on you? I'm what? asking Arlis and Zardis if you want aid on you. I mean, it never hurts, right? Sure. So here. I'll Ooh. give. Uh... Sardos definitely needs this with his like 180 hit points. <laughs> How many do you have right now? 181. Fuck my life. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, like I have my new favorite punching bag. What? You have more than me! I'm gonna tell you he has okay. more than Melora. What? <laughs> okay, so Zardas, um... You're not getting eight. No, just kidding. Uh, no, the three of us will get. Um, Melora's not here, so... Too bad. <laughs> um, okay, so in this case, Melora's gonna cloud you up, and I'm just gonna go down the road to try to catch up with Caravan. Yeah, I mean, they'll probably have stopped traveling by the time. Um, oh, our, track filling you know, Tarnia and all, the, all the stuff that's the fortress, right? That's I think they might get to, they want to get to Fort Austria tonight, yeah. yeah. That's their yeah. plan, at least. Uh, your speed is 30 miles uh, around an hour, right? Yeah. So we basically catch up <laughs> in the first hour. Yeah, easily. Pretty much keep keeping it inside in the distance while well, we get wow. some can. That's crazy. <laughs> that spell is so fucking good. It's a really good spell. <laughs> and then you just wanna like float around out of eyesight, just yeah. keep up with it. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good for now. No? Alright. See how far they go. Uh, okay. I mean, this will hold until 9 p.m., right? They should have. Uh, uh, by then, so. Yes, we hold from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually a good idea. <coughs> All right. <coughs> uh, Leos, make me a concentration check. <coughs> this is gonna be a bit harder to see 15. Uh, <coughs> actually. Um, uh, constitution saving for. <coughs> yeah, for, make me constitution saving. Exactly. Throw. Uh, like if you succeed, you manage to get a long rest while inside of a carriage okay. on the go. Good fucking luck. Come on. Uh. Okay. Uh, do I have anything? 
Ah, no. Inspiration? Uh, no, I cannot use that on saving throws. Oh, yeah. All right. yeah. Only awesome. ability checks. All right. So, uh, sadly for you, this is a world that has not invented the... Um, uh, Hydraulics. Shock absorbers. Shock, shock absorbers yeah. yet. And uh, the road is not that good. So you toss and turn and toss and turn and your um, um, comrades try their best to let you sleep, but like you hear everything they talk about quietly and I uh, hear uh, jean express his disappointment that he didn't get a chance to say thank you to the Heron Stellans, uh, but well... They are, like, good people uh, serving tirelessly for the well-being of Aldana. Uh, but, honestly, most of the day is just the tossing and turning and not being able to fall asleep. So, yeah, you don't get a long rest, and I'm even gonna say you get a point of exhaustion for this. Uh, however, uh, however, uh, at about like 8 in the evening, uh, you do reach uh, Fort Austri. Uh, it is already dark, so you can't um, properly see the size of the fort, uh, only like, try to judge its mass by the like, few lights uh, that are being kept. It is a massive construction of multiple walls and moats and stone and wood and uh, if you have the carriage travel over a few draw bridges uh, before it enters the stone interior of the fort and uh, comes to a stop. Uh, whereupon you are no longer needed to pretend to be asleep mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of you disembark uh, with I assume the clouds being somewhere in the sky pretending to not be clouds or more like pretending to not to be clouds pretending to be, be, be clouds <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that sounds reasonable for now. Well, I mean, can yeah. We, can we scout out the surroundings to get an idea of this place? Uh, sure. Uh, what people are you interested in? Like, um, if there are any places that would be within 500? Let me check. Uh, 500 feet, I think, is the range on this, right? Yeah. Um, within 500 feet and still somewhat hidden on the Aldana side, which I don't exactly presume, but... Well defined hidden. Like a place where we can try and rest for the night. Oh. Um, okay. I think in that case, I think you are underestimating the size. So, while the central building, the dungeon, so to speak, is like, even smaller than the Nordenstein Castle, uh, it has one layer wall, then uh, there's an interior, I guess I could say, castle, where the whole local legion is set up, and that's a few thousand people and barracks and training grounds and armories and stables and then there is another wall and then there is uh, like support forces on the back okay. side or the Aldana side like the village uh, you could say where like smiths and you know, like servants and merchants and people stop leave which is surrounded by yet and now the wall, this one, to be fair, is like wooden, relatively small wall, but um, yeah. Uh, so if you have no intention of currently infiltrating the castles, your best bet is to sleep at least a mile away from the dungeon. 
to make sure that no patrols, no guards will notice him. Uh, one second. So a mile away, that's pretty far. I mean, you can come closer, but you're basically going to be entering the... Not quite the demilitarized zone, but it's analog. On the side of, if somebody is this close in the middle of the yeah. night, it's got to be a spy. Mm -hmm. mm. And you don't Only have... Only you had a box to hide under. <laughs> uh, well, um, what... Um, okay, yeah, that's... A little longer. So you think, you guys think what you're gonna do about that. Uh, meanwhile, you, Leos, uh, disembark, yeah, like your butt is hurting, you know, like, that, that lower back when you, like, try to sleep on a bed mattress and it's just all sore. Uh, but uh, as you all disembark, you are met by a small detachment of troops that directly uh, meet you, as well as a, an individual um, give me a second. Nope, I don't want that. Uh, I want this. And I want this. Um, you are met by a pretty tall, old human man. Like, you judge he's at least 60. Uh, mm -hmm. His hair and beard are completely white, although he's keeping them pretty well trimmed. You see a couple better scars on his face, uh, a black lacquered armor with a gilded lion on the chest and a cloak behind his back. He has a sword on his side and he looks familiar. Are you interested in finding out who he is before I introduce him, or do you not want to bother? Uh, well, if 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 he kind of looks familiar, uh, sure, I would like to know who that is before he says it. <laughs> then make me an intelligence check with disadvantage because I'm exhausted. I suppose so, as his face is kind of a little bit him. Him, you're pretty sure you've seen him before. But the name just evades you. It's like like you recognize like features of his face, but you're like, wait, where have I seen him? Where have I seen him? And uh, the man kind of like, uh, like walks up to Anna, salutes, and says uh, in a very very deep and uh, raspy voice. <clears throat> Welcome to Austria, your highness. We have been expecting your arrival. And uh, Anna responds, Yes, it has been a long trip, grandfather. How is the fort? Are you holding up well? Response. It is all nominal, your highness. Your security attachment is prepared and... When you leave, they will be ready to travel with you. Has my son and grandson been causing trouble for you? And you're like, Right! That's a grandmar. Oh, as he's called in... Lord Edge? Yeah, oh, as he's called in Aldana the Legate, Legion Legate. Uh, Emmerich Edge, the father of Lord Rand Edge. He has the father of the father Lord, Lord Edge. Yeah. Basically, imagine Reaper from Overwatch. Imagine Reaper's father. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know that he has basically like given up, um, like the title of the Duke to his son, at some point, and mm. he is now responsible specifically for Fort Austria as one of the oldest and most experienced commanders that Aldana has. He's experienced many a skirmish, he has been in the head of many charge himself. Uh, and as far as you know, he's a good trusted man. At least his troops seems to like him. 
Can I uh, check if he is um, covered with an illusion of spell? Sure, make me an investigation check with disadvantage. Investigation check. Twelve. Twelve. Mm, seems solid, and uh, okay. I, your eyes are still kind of you're like trying not to fall asleep. So it's hard to tell, but you swear you have seen uh, Aldana kind of like hold, uh, not Aldana, Anna hold him by the elbow, and it didn't go through. So you think okay. it matches? Yeah. You hope it matches, because like if she dies in your watch, it's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, okay. in any case, you are uh, brought into the central space under very, very heavy guard. You are provided with uh, accommodations. Anna has her room, John Luke has his room. Uh, I guess uh, you're most likely going to be placed in the same room as Kavagas, right next to Anna. And mm -hmm. Rubis is going to be like on the other side, basically. And uh, yeah. like just for the record, uh, your room and Anna's room and Jan Luke's room and uh, Ru Rubius's room, they like this room. They have a door in case you need to open like immediately teleport, but they okay. do provide some uh, privacy, I guess you could say. Uh, and that point, I mean, a lot of you almost like gonna be start preparing for a long rest because. You're all fucking tired, none of you got to sleep. And as your group sleeps, and uh, before the rest of the heroes still decide what they want to do, because I hope we're gonna get our uh, fifth player in a moment, uh, let's take a break. This mm -hmm. should be enough. Excellent, you in a bit. Uh...
And we're back. All right. So, here on Stellan's main adventuring group. What is your plan for the night? Um, the air carriage would like to land uh, somewhere, like what's like a mile probably away from this mm -hmm. port. Um, turn back, and then I think let's just uh, head on in. Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't stop us at the gates for too long if we show them, and we'll just find a try to get. As close as possible for the night. I mean, she did say we could join until Fort Austri, so. Shouldn't be. Are you trying much. to sleep in the attached village or are you trying to make it into the center? Um, that's a group decision, I don't know. Oh, the village. Does has inns. I mean, there's a good chance those inns are being watched by a guard yeah, for spies. I mean, we're, we're, but we're not afraid of that part. We're in Aldana. We are not anywhere else. Well. <laughs> um, since no one. I mean, we need a stable for Intarni, other than that. I think our idea is to get as close as possible to that castle. Don't we? Hmm? So we are sleeping in one of the villages outside. I mean, I don't care if we go in. Doesn't matter to me. Can we get a room right next to Anna? I doubt it. But maybe in the same castle. Do we... Get a shot, see what happens. See where they decide to stop us. Yeah, let's see where they draw the line. Let's see how far in we'll get. I think we are just... Um, heading on up to the first outer gate of the attached village or... So on, wherever we first meet guards that would like to block our passage. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, the guards will stop you at the very first gate, like, ask what business do you have in this village this late at night. And I'll just uh, immediately get out the badge. Um, we are the Herons Talon, and we are here to spend the night in the dungeon. So, if you could... Uh, and if they get not, they don't recognize the badge. And they don't recognize the name they the Heron's Talon? They don't recognize the name, yeah. Okay, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Um, Why is it always like that with you? It's always the hard... Excuse me? With me? It's them not knowing the symbol of the king and not knowing our name. Not mine. How about the uh, ranks of nobility? Do you recognize those, or those don't matter here either? They kind of like... Look at you. So, where is this noble you're escorting? I am the noble. Yeah. I am Viscount Reichsreier. And I would like entry into this place. For all I care, you can um, contact the carriage, uh, the caravan came through here earlier, the important one with lots of people. Yeah, we're and gonna do that, certainly. That yes. the Heron's Talon is at the door. Uh, do you have any enjoy. actual day, kind of like ignoring cars and like look at Traga and Zardus and Melora, do you have actual means of identification? Papers that confirm whatever this one is saying? Do you have that, Carlos? I mean, I have papers for, you know, other stats, statuses I have. How about you give this up the chain of command, which is the chain that will fucking whip you for 
treating us this is, way. Is, uh, who's in command here? Is it Horsa? No. Probably not if he was traveling along with the carriage. <sighs> Look. If you want to stay in in Nina something, sure. Sure. But we need to see something. What are your names? Your our names is no of no concern to your citizen. If you are a citizen. Well what kind of papers? No, he claims to be a noble, whereas he's I don't know oh, uh, yeah. Diploma? Or what's the nobles get these days? <laughs> diploma. It's called a pedigree. Oh, look. He and knows the out words. of character. Yes. Out of character, I do have something like that from when I was inaugurated, right? Uh, you have a lot of things that you're forgetting about. No, we don't have a lot of shit on us in that regard. No, that's nothing that is in our bag of looting or listed there. Well, then you have forgotten to write it down. I got. Or it works mm. either way too. We have a set mm. of noble clothes. <laughs> uh, medallion from what is this? No, we don't have jackal. Uh, I'm never gonna get tired of this. It's the usual. Oh, we have the medallion from the king. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that, uh, no, the one I already showed showed that. that. That's the one they're like oh, the, one the stuff showed? we have. They're just ignoring. They ignore everything we have. I have Frankie called to captain for Nebo. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. I have dominate monster in a second. Is what I have. <laughs> um. Not. Zardus, you want to try? Uh, I don't think any of my stuff will work here, so... I'm just going to send me back washing. Do I mean, let's... Let's, let's put this... Can we just put this into perspective? We are in extremely rich clothes, very expensive armor, riding on an elk, and these lowly guards at the outest level aren't letting us enter. Uh, these highly trained army guards from the most secure spot in the kingdom. One of the most secure spots in the kingdom. Sure. Alice, can you have a look at the bag, see what we have? We don't have anything in there that relates to this. I mean, I thought the symbol of the king would be plenty to get us into any place we should get into. Your medallion has no symbol of the king, it has a symbol of the harem stones. The king is a whole area somewhere. If you had the royal seal somewhere, that would be another thing. That we do have. Where? Don't I'm pretty sure anything. you do, but... On this conveniently letter I just forged. <laughs> On a note of recognition from King Albert Vereinigt Fer allowing us to buy property in Kreuzung. That's pretty good. Hmm? Would that suffice? Are you asking the guards or are you asking me? Yeah, no, I'm asking the guards. <laughs> hey. How is our place called? Kersung? Well, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. So, Thank <laughs> I'm gonna recommend <laughs> that inn over there. Ten meters in. Has a stable for your glowy horse. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, have a nice, nice shift. Let me go in. <laughs> sure. Uh, so are we going to that end? No. As as Let's go guess. to the next gate. If they stop us there again, I'm committing a war crime, I think. You gotta keep your cool, Arliss. 
Especially when Gotta it comes to security. Gotta keep your cool when it matters. When fucking... This shit happens. Let's look for okay, the next gate. So we're gate. going through the other gate, like the inner circle? Oh, we're trying. You travel for a good like 10 minutes through the windy streets of this village, I'm gonna call it. Then you approach the real gate. These ones have a moat and a bridge raised. The moat is about... I don't wanna say too big of a number, but I feel it's gonna be... Uh, it's actually, it's not gonna be a moat, I guess. It's gonna be just... No, like, a moat with no water, I guess, if it could be called. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is gonna be a good 30 feet wide. Sun spot, right? So, All right. what's your plan? Yeah. Well, walking up to the next guardly looking person around there. There's no guards, it's just a raised bridge. Not, yeah, ring the bell. Or do this out of the gate. Oh. <laughs> I knock. Hello? We can't knock, there's like a 30 foot gap in between. Yes. Oh, the, the thing, oh, the thing is not. Uh, yeah. uh, the, the bridge, the no, door it's is raised. not... Oh, it's yeah, raised. raised. Like gonna Trigger's gonna uh, whistle very loudly. Nothing happens? I see a light on top of the uh, tower with the bridge. And I hear... What do you want? Good evening. Do you by chance recognize the name of the Heron's Talon? It's a bird! No, the Heron's Talon, the organization that works for the king. No? No, excellent. We know that Centurion Horsa came in here earlier with Caravan. And, um... Would you please be so kind to ask Centurion Harsa or someone else in command to uh, confirm our identity so that we can enter? So, you say you know them? Yes. Why aren't you with them? Because we were delayed. I'm on a separate mission. And who do you say you are? I'm Earls of the Nine. That's a sketchy name! Yeah, that comes along with the Heron's Talon, yes. A new people, introduce yourselves, please. Oh, I'm, I'm Trego Melser. <clears throat> Zardos. You almost made it right. You should have said, No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. She's gonna kill me. Um... <sighs> yeah, well. No, Mr. Nine. The bridge is gonna come down in the morning. Yes, but we would like to stay in there for the night. In the bridge? You don't have to... No, in the dungeon. You don't have to call me Mr. Nine. You can call me uh, Viscount Reichsreier. If you'd like. Yeah, that's much easier to pronounce our list. Nice go. No, it's just the Viscount part. Oh! Yes, who's coming? Notice of... Well, Viscount... 
Risky Brian! Ooh, right on time! Make Thruster go away. Hey! Hello. How are you doing? It's been a rough morning, but good. How are you guys doing? Good, good. We're about to, to invade a castle. Let's do it! Excellent. See, that's why we like chess. She doesn't ask why, she just says, let's do it. Right. <laughs> oh. Wait, the can we turn into obvious. clouds and just fly over it? Yes, but we'll get into trouble in over there then. So? Well, as I said, Mr. Nine, we have protocol. And his bridge is staying up. So, you don't mind if we come in as long as... Bridge, is that what I'm getting? You're too far away, I don't hear half of what you said. You don't mind if we come in as long as we're not walking across that bridge, is that what you're saying? Sure! My Excellent. boys require target practice, come along! <sighs> How about you fucking... Get Centurion Horsa or anyone above you in the chain of command. How about Centurion. you fucking fuck off? This is exactly the meme. Oh my yeah, this god. This is basically Monty Python. It is, it is. Really? I haven't watched it. <laughs> Let me look at my sets of spells here. Like at this point, there's like there a bit more light above the gate. In 30 seconds, they're gonna shoot a cow at us. <laughs> Meanwhile, Leos is safe and sound in a warm, warm bed, getting a wonderful long rest. Actually, sleeping all that's fantastic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I posted about like what we're like a small recap, I think. Mm -hmm. right? Awesome, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant the video a small recap of what you're trying to do. <laughs> oh no, also no, it works, but that's no. Not the right sentence it. above it is. Uh... So, you are in front of the outer castle with a bridge raised in a moat between you and an unknown amount of people with crossbow bolts and bows and other pointy things. You know what? Fuck it, let's turn into clouds. Wait, no. Why? What? Why? Because why not? Hey, if we... these incompetent fucks are gonna be this way, then no point in listening. Let's not do this, please. I thought we were only going as far as we could before they yeah. stopped us. That end doesn't look like... so bad, you know? It has Until to someone who actually has anything to say stops us, not some fucking in incompetent asshat at the, go at the door who doesn't have to say anything. Mm, they can still hit us as cloud form. Yeah, if they can see us. Uh, I'm all for just sleeping in the end this night. Oh, I'm all for. Okay, uh, citizen, I'm getting tired. Get away from the bridge or we're gonna open fire. You have 10 seconds to comply. And we're already writing the arrows. Really? Are, like, are soldiers really that fast to shoot? Well, do you wanna find out? I'm down. To find out. You see it all pff, 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 pff. lights appear above the bridge. Really? What if it's like a reckless hobo that comes around and starts screaming at the guards? Will he also be shot? That's amazing. Probably. Yeah. What are the security protocols of this place? Well, I mean, can we still do what we need to do outside? Do we really need to be in? We just well, need to. You hear a, yeah. and a yeah. single. 
flaming arrow lands about like a couple meters in front of you. That was your last warning! It'll be hilarious if Arliss dies here. <laughs> it'll be hilarious if I kill a hundred guards here the next second, but I don't think it'll be hilarious. Okay, let's take two steps back first. Let's call the thing, sure. call the... The thing is just if we aren't inside, if something happens within here, then, well, A, we're not going to notice, probably, and B, we won't be there in any uh, reasonable amount of time. Well, well, we'll probably hear when, you know, there's an invasion of this place, right? Yeah, sure Leo's mm -hmm. Unless it's a really Leo's good assassin. Sure. If shit goes down, Leo's is gonna scream and you're gonna hear it. Well, first of all, I'm gonna teleport back to Kreuzung. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna send them a message. <laughs> Shit was going down, we decided to leave. <laughs> well, if you've gotten your long rest by then, because that's the main point. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Otherwise, Otherwise uh, we're fucked. Well, I have two spell slots left, I could send a message. Well, let's... I don't know. I'm for breaking down this door, anyone no. else? I'm, no, no, no. I'm totally against that. Well, I think I've caused enough trouble this way. I don't know if such thing would be a good idea. We can barely hear you. Yeah, I think I've caused enough trouble right, right about now, so I don't think any more would be a good idea. Well, I mean, if they're that scared of peasants, let's just let them do what they think is best. They can handle it. And she starts... Starts what? Walking. Just walking well. away. Oh, oh wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> walking away from the... from the arrow. Yeah, no, that sounded like, okay, so let's just walk in and start a fight. Uh, I just thought Milor was gonna terminate her through the bridge. <laughs> I'm just, uh, as I'm walking away, I'm putting up my finger and like, uh, can I make sh um, sparks in the form of like a middle finger for them? Is that possible? Sure. Press the digitation. <laughs> then I'm make doing me that as I'm walking away. Excellent, I'm so bad at these, so probably not. <laughs> That's why I'm making you do it. <laughs> oh, no, nice. No. <laughs> do you make, like, two sparks while the emoji. fingers? Like, your mojo is down today. The thank you emoji with the hands. <laughs> <sighs> Please let me not set fire to this place. We'll yeah, so still be good. able to act. It'll be fine. Leos can warn us if something goes on. <laughs> if and if they die, I'm killing these people here second. They'll that's probably be awesome. already dead. Well, well that's gonna be what they can hope for, yeah. It's been a while since we slept in the inn, right? It has. It seems odd they are that paranoid of what they call the citizens. I mean, are they like that with everybody in this area? Well, specifically today, the princess and the prince of Gaul are inside there, but still. I mean, they didn't even go and ask Centurion Hart, so they didn't do jack all. They just told us to fuck off, basically. You know, not all soldiers are good. No, most of them. Imagine seem to be a random group of person armed approach a military base that has high value personnel on it and start claiming that they are the president of the United States. Yeah, but are you, you know gonna better by name? That are be... you gonna verify that, or are you gonna leave these armed? I'm people gonna consider they crazy. You want to go right up to him and show him the medallion or the seal of approval by Alfred? I wish, but yeah. So it's gonna be in. people that way. Let's see what of crazy foods they got here. They got food. That's about it. Normal? Yeah. Oh man. Well, time to get some rest in here, I guess. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna, I guess, rent in, in Tarni a place in the stables, rent rooms, 
That's gonna be like gold for all of you is everything. Yeah. Sure. Flag of looting will cover. Who is it? Yeah. So you get your in, you get your food, you get your rooms. You go get your long rest, I suppose. Um, any more arguments you want to have? I'll like step yeah, people. Like, gonna go through my bag, see if I have any identification <laughs> stuff. Uh, make me an investigation check. Two, two investigation. Oh, I'm good with twenty. As you go through the bag of looting, in the furthest corner, crumpled, tucked away. Oh, more like not crumpled, but tucked away. You find the wooden box that held your medals. Inside of the box, you find a royal decree by Albert Varane that explains the meaning of your medallions and orders any Aldana forces to assist the bearers of these medallions in any means possible. Yeah, write this down. <laughs> write I don't this think shit we down. have that actually. Why? Because we never took it. We took the rings and the medallions, basically, but we never took anything else from back there. Well, I, yes, we did. I, I precisely remember Trego taking it and putting it into the bag of looting. Sure, okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to go back and rewatch everything, and if I was wrong, I'm gonna That's eat fine. my hat. But. What episode is that? Wear a hat. Uh, that no and idea. that episode isn't hard to find, it's like right after the um, attack Line on Trison. Yeah. yeah. So write that down. And Trigger's like. Going through the bag of holy like, ooh, do you think this would help? Anyway, anything else you want to do before taking a long rest? Giving Intarni a lot of carrots. Like all the carrots this this establishment has. <laughs> That's gonna cost you another silver. Sure. A bag of carrots. <laughs> The next morning on the menu, there's like vegetable soup, no carrots in front. <laughs> They're not gonna sell you every single carrot, but you get a bag of carrots. Cool. Okay, well, in that case, if that's it, then you get your own long rest. So, uh, yeah, Jesse, I have only up to your hit points, but I haven't touched anything else. And I actually should leave your character sheet, so uh, get your long rest. Alright, does that mean my strength goes back to normal? Yes, yes it has in the... Yes, yes, it we does. Did it, does. it already did, but okay. I didn't touch anything, so... Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna... I'm gonna swap this aid for something else. So, it's kind of the... Um, 11... 11th of January. Alright. So, next day, Lewis, you are the first to go to sleep, so you're the first to wake up. Uh, you weren't awakened during the night by anybody screaming assassins. You weren't <laughs> killed during the night. Uh, nice. And uh, apparently you were tired enough to uh, sleep despite Kavagas uh, being quite an orchestra. But uh, your back feels better, your magic is restored, your exhaustion is more or less gone, you're still kind of groggy, but uh, nothing that will uh, diminish your abilities. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, yeah, I want to um, probably check on Anna, she's awake. Uh, knock, of course. Um, 
and then see what the plan for the day is. Um, you knock, uh, you get a response uh, from, not from Anna, but from her maid, who basically tells you to you, uh, the princess is uh, preparing for the day, please mm -hmm. wait for like half an hour. Yeah. Uh, and you wait, Kavagas wakes up, you get to observe the uh, curious uh, scene of a Goliath trying to wash uh, their face in a tiny, tiny human-sized bucket of water. <laughs> uh, it is not easy to hold soap if your arms are the size of certain people's heads. Um, but he seems to be in a good mood. Sinks a little bit. Uh, then you, uh, the door basically like opens, and you hear that maid. That well, the same maid you always see with Anna, the pale one, uh, yeah. the pale half elf, uh, kind of like uh, greet you and say, "Her Highness will meet you now." Yeah, I'll, in that case, I'll go in, no. greet her. Uh, you go in, see Anna. Uh, she looks slightly less tired, but still a bit on edge. Says, good morning. I was thinking about meeting up with Jean-Luc in a short time. He didn't get to talk to you yesterday, and I think this is an appropriate time to discuss uh, the rest of our trip. Yeah. while um, Emmerich prepares our new escort. Mm -hmm. So, um, a bit more time passes, you are um, uh, joined by Rubius and Jean-Luc, who uh, greets you enthusiastically, He's like, Oh, mon ami! It is so very good to see you again. I hope that you have sent my mercies to your colleagues. I have. They were deeply appreciated. Ah, I'm so disappointed I did not get to say so myself. But I was told that they are pursuing a mission of the greatest importance. That is correct. And you will get uh, you will get your chance to meet uh, to meet them in person. If, if, if our planes go as we have seen planned, and I am certain we have many many years of uh, very close working together. Yes. I have heard many good things of you from Anna, and it makes me feel a lot of safer knowing that a man of your caliber is here to protecting us. That I am. I'm, uh, I'm humbled. Thank you. Well, shall we discuss the home sweet home? Yes. Um, Anna says, um, John Luke, you've mentioned that there is going to be multiple factions that we should watch out while we are in uh, in Kron. Oh, we, Vinsur. Well, I suppose you have heard about on. My wonderful brother, uh, Giscard, he is... Frankly, I will not be surprised if he is the one responsible for this attack on my person. I am very, very deeply apologetic for his behavior. But he is starting, he is wanting to start a war and... For that regard, he does not wish for me to be on the throne. He is a shrewd young man. He is strict and I would even say cruel in his approach to his 
servants and um, allies season. He is a soldier at heart and he dreams of the conquest he would have if he is to take the throne. I hope that it never comes to pass. But he is not the only one you need to worry for. There is a person, a, uh, a collect that has come to our home about five years past. He calls himself Galin, Galin Coutinius. He is a man of cloth and he preaches of a God that we did not know. He calls it the Omniscient Un, the All Knowing God. Um, out of character, was it uh, Galintinius? Galin Coutinius. Could you could you po post the name in chat just so I can write it down? Properly. Sure. Thank you. It's an anagram for Cerulius. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, okay, Galin. He has um, entertained my father with the stories of prophecies and miracles that the omniscient God is to guide our country to victory in war. He definitely possesses some kind of divine powers and the ability to create divine lights and divine flames. His power is true and great, but it is his summons to war and the superiority of our kingdom over every else of the humankind over the others is what worries me the tales he whispers into my father's ear has broken him out of the slumber and caused even my father to become more active and supportive of my of my brother I see. Um, has have there ever been any mentionings of words or preachings referring to to a uh, to an eye or vision, like has has they called that God the One Eyed God? That is not a normal that I recognize. They have, however, occasionally seen the reminiscent one, the, um, the eternal flame and the all seeing guy. The man is a demagogue. He has uh, single handedly established the whole church of the omniscient one. And he has the ability to strike fervor and warlike desire in soldiers and politicians alike. So he is already well connected, and he has. Um, has he converted your father? fully towards that belief, or is he still somewhat... Uh, My father has not been officially... converted. He mm -hmm. has not gone through the ritual of accepting the missing fun. But it is a worry of what my father has been whispered that has led me to seeking this new alliance. As I have explained, your highness, I am desperate indeed, but I believe that I can bring 
Security to the border. There are many commanders that escort my brother. There is one that you need to watch out for. I will point him out, but he is a well known duelist. He is known to be offended by the slightest of breaches in etiquette, as he calls out the offending party for a duel and then slaughters them under the pretense of, uh, of protecting the noble name. I would not be surprised if such a means would be utilized to create a rift between the people of Aldana and the people of Gol. What is this, uh, this duelist's name? Um, uh, one second. Uh, how was it pronounced? Oh. Okay, so his name, don't laugh, is Gaston. A famous French name. <laughs> yes, that's why he has it. Um, and his last name is... Uh, Beranger, uh, which is going to be pronounced uh, like this. And he is known to be in the entourage of uh, Giscard Mercier. Uh, oui, he is a um, officer in trust of my brother. Mm -hmm. It is my belief, although there has been no confirmation, that uh, the duels are one of the means for my brother to remove the politicians and nobles that are opposed to his goals. Though it is no lie that Gaston just truly enjoys the art of duel and slaughter under pretense of etiquette. I see. Um, are there any customs that I should be aware of or that Anna should be aware of that are easily forgotten that could lead to such a provocation of a duel? If I were to be completely honest, um, if he desires to call you out on the duel, he will succeed. It is just that if he is a regenerator, then through my influence, it will be possible to stop the duel. However, I would advise you to avoid conversations with him and uh, looking him in the eye. His other uh, known uh, means it perhaps would not work on a citizen of gold, but on a, a guest is to drop his uh, glove and if you pick, apart, uh, pick it up, he would consider that as a challenge. Okay, so no picking up gloves. Uh, an eye contact. No gloves. Um. If 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 I, um is it possible to to decline? Um. A challenge for a duel? Um, it is possible. 
Oh your horse, if you were a noble of gold, it would slight your honor completely and destroy your social standing. Uh, but I suppose it depends on how harsh of a slight you were to commit in his sight. If it were just a the word spoken out of jerks, perhaps it would be easier to, to get you out of it. Although I would prefer not to utilize our powers to do that. But if you were to say something careless or offend his own or offend the means, I'm afraid by the traditions of gold. It will be within his right to force you into the duel. Hmm, I see. Um. And while we, it is possible for us to still get your out of it, it will cause a great destabilization to the power balance between Moa and my brother, as that will reflect upon my own honor and standing. What are the rules of a duel? Would I be allowed to use uh, magic? Or is it purely weapon against weapon? It is a weapon against weapon without an armor. You are allowed to select the weapon of your choice or at least the uh, the challenge is allowed to select. The duel, in his case, often lasts until the death of one of the participants. As you can guess, he has not lost yet. Mm. So I would not be able to use any magic to enhance my skills? You will be able to. It is just that if you do use it, it would be a great. Uh, how do you say it? Disgrace or? Oh, yeah. hmm. The magic okay. is not considered a, a noble persuasion in gold. We have our mages, but they are uh, subservient to the noble houses. Um, how do you how do you greet in in Gaul um, a, a person of uh, of his uh, status? Would would I give a bow? A bow would be appropriate. Frankly, for uh, courtiers and uh, servants, it is no requirement to uh, greet a noble as it would be considered rude and out of turn. Okay. So if I keep in the back, um, just taking notes... Uh, the, uh, a deep bow and keeping your eyes down would be uh, sufficient to confirm your position as a servant. As Anne has explained to me, it is uh, our current piant to claim you to be just a uh, secretaire. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, okay, so we have those three. Is there anyone else that we should watch out for? Uh, there are many others, but it will be uh, the rest are uh, mostly the houses and the names that have not pledged their allegiance yet. It will be the purpose of mine and Nana's uh, negotiations to bring them to our side. The uh, may release the warnings to uh, secure you from the 
individuals that are most less likely to cause us a problem. So, uh, for that situ situation, it would be advisable if I don't have a weapon with me, right? Or uh, Considering I mean, your position, we oui. a weapon would be considered strange. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, okay. That's not too horrible. Um, okay, uh, so I have uh, Giscard Mercier we have to watch out for because uh, he wants to start a war. Um, he's a soldier at heart. We have the acolyte uh, Galant Cossigneux. Uh, he preaches to... Galin Cossigneux. Galin Cossigneux, okay. And he is a preacher to the omniscient god. It's an unknown god. Do I know anything about that god? Does that ring any bell? Make a religion I, check. The eternal flame or um, all-seeing eye. Okay. Uh, religion. Come on, give me... Mm, I'm going nice. to inspire myself, if <laughs> I may. Um, well, I have no ways of physically stopping you. <laughs> 28. <laughs> no, citizen, you're not allowed to inspire yourself. Fuck <laughs> off, I'm gonna shoot arrows at you. This is an inspiration free zone. Yes. Um, you have heard some titles that are similar to this, like you've heard of an Everlight, but that's a religion from very far away and it is a very peaceful religion uh, that definitely has nothing to do with knowledge or all knowingness it's uh, um, so there's nothing nothing else that it resembles yeah anything. you honestly have never heard of this before Admittedly, like many countries have like their own gods, like Aldana has their own ten deities, their other has more and hmm. maybe, but that's not like you've heard of earlier. Hmm. Okay. That I find suspicious. <laughs> you are well within your right to consider this suspicious. Okay, um, yeah, is, is, is he gonna add anything? Um, no, he mostly seems to be done with this. He is gonna, however, ask... Um, so it is... Uh, is my understanding correct that if you make it to uh, Grand Coron uh, in one piece, that it is your intention to summon the rest of the talents? I look at Princess Anna. Um, Anna says, Yes, that was our plan. As we believe that if no further attacks come during our trip, then it is most crucial for us to ensure mine and your safety within Karan. I know that uh, the chances of an assassination actually taking place with a place within the castle are low. But with the new information that has come to mind in the abilities of the ones we're fighting, it is better to be safe than sorry. The Heron Stellans I trust that they trusted force that are loyal to me and my father. I'm sure that they will do everything in their abilities to protect us, and their abilities are great. And the fact that they are not well known beyond you is of great help. 
perhaps we'll be able to catch any would-be assassin of guard and stop a plot before it happens. Yana kind of rubbed his beard. We, we. Then perhaps we should come up with a story in case the Hall of Talons do arrive. It would be much harder to keep them all as servants and quiet. No? Well, um. Well, Trego and Zardas would easily be. can be passed off as personal guards. And I suppose a lady can be passed off as your lady in waiting. Sure. Oui? Or, Anna? or a spiritual guide. To assist in matters of. Uh, well, if she were to seek guidance of the gods, if she were to say that uh, she is a religious attache. Anna is like, I. I'm sure if I talk to Melora, she would accept being my um, lady in waiting. But we could also say that she is our. Um, Ambassador to um, Devma. After all, Milor has made quite a um, quite a statement when she was there last time. Yeah. However, I am wondering what to do about Arles. I am almost. I'm quite unwilling to let him out into the public. His latest outbursts of... How should I call it? Well, long story short, I'm sure that if Ars is allowed to do what he usually does, he'll be the first to get a dual challenge. It could also be um, beneficial to have an ace up our sleeve. That he stays somewhat incognito. Or we could say that he is a Viscount from our kingdom who is looking for marriage to assist forging the bond between our kingdoms. He could play oh, the part. Is that another biting her finger? No, not really. She has to be deep in thought. If that is to pass, then I need Julius to be his personal assistant or majordomo. I need you to speak for him. And make sure that he speaks as little as possible. I could do that. But that would mean that I would have to leave your side. Which. Uh... I will always have Rubius with me. He is officially okay. sanctioned to be by my side. Well, in that case, okay, that's that's good. Yeah, I, I think it. I think that could, could work. That, um. I would have to discuss it with him, but uh, um, I think in that way he could be in the center of it without needing to speak if I am his uh, representative. That is speaking or... If I find, can think of something better than I'll tell you. I was thinking how we should redistribute Strago and Zardos. 
I mean, I was at some what, point considering saying that Zardos is our contact with Nebo, but I don't believe he knows enough about the city to pass even rudimentary knowledge check. But Trego would. He's from there. And Zardos could be his guard. Then how about I keep Trego by my side? Trego and Rubius? With Trego and the Lord, of course, being my representative of Nebo. Perhaps he's here observing possible trade interests, establishing a shipping route between Nebo and uh, Gaul. If we say that he is, well, Nebo doesn't have nobles, that would explain his simpler demeanor, which might be considered even charming by some. And I'm sure he has many stories to tell. Then we can keep Zardos with you and Arles to serve as your guard. Yes. His looks will be unusual and will certainly draw attention. But... The Jean Luc, what do you think? Oh, it is certainly my intention to showcase the possibility of deeper connection with Devi Hamans, as they are certainly being not in a very good position in gold. But it would, as you have said, bring quite a lot of attention to the rest of the lands. I'm not certain if that is worth it. I mean, he... he can change his appearance. Yes, but... I believe such magic lasts no longer than an hour. That is correct. And I don't feel like it would be appropriate to have him change in the middle of an event. And it... he froze. He froze. Yeah. Who I would. Well, hmm? You have just froze for yeah. all of us. No. Just, yeah, oh. Okay, you oh. froze for some of us. <laughs> Uh, basically start from the beginning. Uh, We're talking about Zardes. Yeah, so... I mean, he would draw attention and I would... Um, I would advise him how to deal with... Or how to properly deal with... Um, what's his name? Gaston? Béranger? Um, so... He knows that he shouldn't duel with him, but if any one of us were to duel someone, I would place my bet on Zardos and Drago. That is a good idea to warn your comrade of staying away from Gaston, as Gaston is known to be a hater of all races no remain. I am certain he will seek out ways to duel and slay your comrade. Yes, he... he enjoys uh, it. We could also utilize that. If he's a strong ally to your brother and his perishing would help strengthen your position. We could also draw attention to Trago. If I had to choose between the two of them, I would place my bet on Trego. Wow. Ouch. Even without and I'm Trego. Armor. Hmm? Even so... without the use of Armor or Oh, magic. oh right, oh right. Oh 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 without armor. And magic. And magic. Yeah, I would bet Zardas, dude. <laughs> we, we, uh, out of character would smiting be counted as magical? It will definitely look magical. Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Well, in that, ca in that case, I well, both of them are capable fighters. But uh, if he is 
if he's a racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could. I mean, we have to at least prepare for the situation that he might uh, want to challenge um, Zardos. And we could also. I'm, I mean, I don't want to throw my uh, my friend into into a, a combat, but. If he starts showing unwanted attention to any one of us, maybe we facilitate that by having the option of Zardos challenging him to save any one of our asses. Hmm. I would run it by him, of course. It's not my decision, but. Mm -hmm. But he's a very, very, very capable fighter. Very well. We should discuss it amongst ourselves. If... And then we figure out if the whole of Talon start to get together. After all, perhaps it will all be unnecessary. I will make sure to inform them that once they return from their mission um, and join us at our destination um, uh, to assume the roles that we discussed. And if I can think of anything better or my friends can think of anything better for uh, for Arles, then I'll let you know. Mm, but I think... I think he he uh, he wouldn't have any trouble playing the role of an actual viscount. Is it not easy in your hands? I was like, thank you, John Luke. Uh, I think we will be leaving soon, so all mm. of us need to prepare. John Luke smiles and says, "Ah, I have." I have told you before, just call me my two. <laughs> of course, my two. Here, kind of like bow slightly. Then I will see you later. I give the bow. Alright. So, in that case, the castle party is basically gonna start preparing for departure. Honestly, like, I don't think you or Sakawa guys have much to prepare, like aside from grabbing some food and. Honestly, it's about as much time as you will have. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Could I could I get um, um, before? How how long are we going to travel once we leave uh, the fort? Uh, you're gonna to travel uh, all eleventh, all twelfth, all thirteenth, all fourteenth, and you're gonna be there on the fifteenth. So at least so four that's days. About, about five days of travel. Four to five. Okay. Okay. Um, just so I know that w when when the day when the day comes that I uh, uh, and Zardos comes in, I would give him my weapon of warning to keep. Uh, <laughs> he keeps collecting swords. Uh, yep, yeah, it, it makes sense that he would have that weapon, and then it's close to me. But I don't run around with a weapon, mm. uh, being super suspicious okay. to everyone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was ridiculous. Um, okay. So, uh, what are the people outside of the castle doing? Okay, the people I have been forced to listen to me talk to myself for the last hour. <laughs> Uh, I would like to try a small thing. Okay. Because um, I've never considered what will happen. I'm going to say, Zaris, can you hold this for a second and hold it as tight as you can? And I'll give him Sun Warrior for a second. Okay. 
Okay, this isn't going to start talking to me, is it? Is that <laughs> no, really no, no, I haven't had a conversation <laughs> with him ever. Um, but no, just hold it really, really tight. Try not to, like, if I try and grab it for you, from you, don't give it to me back uh, until I tell you stop, okay? Okay. I step a few steps back, and I, I guess, bonus action, try and summon it back to my hand. It disappears in Zardus' hand in a flash of sunlight, and appears in Dragon's hand. Cool. Okay, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the experiment. Sure. Thanks for being so awesome. <laughs> Suddenly you hear... Nothing. <laughs> I got a, I got enough drama with one elk. Yeah. Zardas, you however here. Hey, you don't want me to be able to do that? Teleport like that? No. Yeah. I mean, I technically still have the uh, my weapon bond with you, so I can do that anyway. But if you want to do it on your own? That'd be fine too. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What are you about? And it's a nice ability to have. I, I'm still thinking on what to do with um, being useful. Trying to remember how you fought that night. Trying to adjust my powers to that. I'm in the process. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Yeah, didn't fight as well as I was hoping, but... I mean, like I said, you can talk to the princess, see which... get some tips from her, or, you know... Kind of copy something power level-wise close to my Shadow Blade. Not killing anything, but I would like to have a 3D8 sword in demand. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just throwing it out there, yeah. Could you maybe crank it up a bit? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. two yeah, or yeah. three levels? <laughs> uh, I actually have another favor to ask of you. Like, I've been talking to your other one, and she's been explaining things to me. Well, could you consider leaving some airs behind, and maybe riding me into the wheel, just in case. Um... Uh... I'll keep that in mind. So, maybe you can do that before we depart? Like, I mean, how long is it gonna get to get, like, let's say, three? One main air, one spare, one a spare for the spare? Um. Like, we're gonna be on the road uh, for a couple of days, I suppose, like, you're gonna be free, why don't you do that? Um... That's... Look, there's a lot going on in life right now, I don't know if I can just stop and just pick up some airs. You know, I'll... Keep that in mind. Keep an eye out. I don't know what the princess has in mind. See so, so what happens. Well, I hear we're coming to a big place. I hear people like big places where they exchange things. Maybe see if you can find any hairs over there. Sure, sure. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Good token. Mm -hmm. Good token. Yeah. You, you okay, Zardus? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Anybody else? Aris, Milora? Aris, have you play have you finished playing your assault on the castle? And it's maximized destruction? Oh, no, I'm not done yet. That'll take a while long. Um Milora? No, I can't think of anything to do. <laughs> Alright. Well then. Let's say that uh, you, Liz, uh, are uh, deposited uh, into the carriage along with Anna and uh, Jean-Luc and Rubius. Mm -hmm. And you are given new escorts, uh, which 
look far more on edge and far more prepared than the ones you had before. Mm -hmm. the convoy, your caravan is greatly increased in size, although. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's just crazy in size. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you depart. That's about it. You depart. There's nothing else for me to say. You depart. Let's say at 10 a.m. you depart from Austria. And what does the rest do? Cloud form? I guess. Sure. Cloud form. I mean, we don't have anything else to do here. Um, so we can find I mean, them on the road or something. Can we quickly ask around if there's like uh, any Terry town? I don't expect it, but we can ask around. Did everybody hear him? Uh, no. Sorry, he, I, I, I was around. probably a, I was probably a little too far away from the mic. Like, kiss. Um, is there? Like, can we ask around for a jeweler in this town? I don't expect any in a fucking military place, but uh, no. just in case. Definitely not. Yeah, in that case, there's nothing really. Uh, you know what? Actually, make me an investigation check with charisma. Sixteen? No. Mm -hmm. right. In that case, uh, Herontel's main group uh, is uh, cloud forming and trying to follow the caravan while uh, Heron's talents uh, I don't have many enemies group uh, is riding in a carriage uh, okay dokey well anything you guys want to do over the next couple days uh, yes uh, once we go to sleep I would like to use a dream dream um, to contact Arleth and essentially inform him about the plan that they are supposed to come in when we arrive and what kind of roles they um, have to take. And I would also give him a very de a detailed description of all the the dueling possibility. Wait, 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 wait a second. You're saying she wants us to come now? Did you talk some sense into her or what happened? I thought we were um... not to come to... This place in the first, so call in the first place. I honestly, I don't know, but um, the thing is, when we arrive there, that dear uh, prince has a few enemies, and I wanna want you to look out for two people especially. One, there's that uh, duelist Gaston Beranger. <laughs> And I will be pointed out to him, but uh, he's known for being easily offended by breaching etiquette. And he is crazy. He challenges pretty much anyone who breaches etiquette and kills them in duel. So we might, if they are actually, if he's actually a vital um, member of the enemies of the prince it might be wise that we might actually want to trigger him into a duel just in case if he for example were to approach you or me to challenge uh, to be challenged to a duel we would be fucked you but think in so? that case uh i think i yeah. can take him on with magic yeah no magic why not it's that's not the rules there it's life or death who gives a fuck about the rules? Well, they do. It's fuck. It's it's kind of like Nebo. It's shitty rules. Yeah, I'll still c try and kill him with magic first if it do that. Here's here's but... the thing. If if any one of us were to be challenged to a duel, I think we should 
make sure that Zardas gets a take at it first. Because there's only weapons allowed, no magical assistance. Uh, that pretty much puts Trego off the table, I think, for that. And no armor. And if we want to keep it peaceful, we shouldn't be starting to throw around um, spells that could disintegrate people. So, uh, just a fair warning, we might need to use Zardas to, to, to challenge him instead, if he were to move close. But keep your eyes off of him. Uh, be courteous, courteous, or, um, uh, hey, and don't, let's not all not talk to that guy as long as we don't need to. Um, no, I mean, why are we not in cloud form the entire time anyway? What's the point of having us around if we can still provide security in a different form without the chance to provoke people? <sighs> That's actually a good point. Yeah, I actually well, like that plan a lot better. If you... We're dreaming together, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> you, we will, you will have uh, the next days to discuss the plans. Yeah, um, well, it, it's a good plan. I will talk to the princess about this, that we might not need to move you in at all if we keep you off the premises. Yeah, um, I mean, just security in case shit goes down, yeah. but... Uh, but if yeah the the only issue issue is if something goes down you will take a lot of time coming in if you need to revert back from that I have form. I've thought about that I don't think so I think in a pinch though maybe that doesn't work either Honestly I was considering what if for example you um, try and dispel magic on us that should get us out of the spell, right? I would need probably to cast, in an instant. I would need to cast it on each and every single one of you separately. You need to cast it once on me, and I can or on Melora, and we can double down the next round, the next few seconds. Yes, but here's the, here's the thing: if we, there might be situations where we cannot storm in and just throw everything around because that could lead to war easily. There are a lot of people that are really trigger happy in that kingdom, as far as I am informed, and it would be very valuable to have a skilled fighter like Zardas next to to me and the princess by keeping their rules. And makes sense. And if we can take down one of the of of the enemies of the of the prince who is looking actively to challenge anyone who basically he doesn't like. And he's f fucking racist, by the way. Uh, he's most likely going to challenge Zardas anyway, or at least look for a way if he sees them. And we could dispose of someone that is that aggressive and is also interested in, uh, and he's also working for the younger brother of the prince. So he is actively interested in starting a war with Aldana. So I think it's someone that we should take out. And Makes if we do that cleanly in a duel, everybody will be cheerful. That sounds good. I mean, I'm not advising for all of us to be in cloud form, if that makes sense. Just for those who probably attract more danger than they're worth yeah. to maybe be in a different shape. And also your pre presence might prevent... Um, might prevent um, um, might prevent further escalation just by having more guards there. Um, also, we discussed how we could bring you in and uh, in in somewhat official capacity, and we talked about that you could come in as Viscount. Uh, that's your official title, right? Yes. And you could have come with a princess to look for, uh, I don't know, uh, a wife to further uh, strengthen the, the alliance. You I'd rather be a cloud, but yeah. You w wouldn't have to talk. I would be basically your, uh, what's it, what, what is the call, uh, uh, the function called? Major Domo. Yeah. And I would do the talking for you and we would try to uh, stay in the background for a longer time, 
but that would mean that you could be directly in the middle, uh, uh, in the midst of it, um, and we can react immediately if anything happens. Um, Melora would be the uh, the what is that called? The next woman thing. What is it? Uh, Lady in waiting. Lady in waiting. <laughs> Leo's Leo's knows all these titles, but the player doesn't. Um, and um, what else is there? Um, yeah, <laughs> she she will would be would be um, disguised as the lady in, in waiting for for the princess, um, and. Um, and Trego would be some sort of uh, first representative of Nebel, since he knows the city best, and he could be sent here as someone who has some sort of trade interest with uh, with Gaul. That will be probably the di most difficult to pull off. And uh, but he knows the city, and he could he be some some sort of representative uh, for that town. Um, and I think I think there might be some people who. Uh, I mean, it's good to already have thought this through. I would still um, ask you to look with the princess if maybe she'd think it's better for some of us to be as clouds. Or yeah. Honestly, more like for us to make that a group decision rather than her decision. I mean, it would, yeah, if, um, sensible in the situation. There are two things. If, uh, if at least you were a cloud and maybe, uh, or at least one, then, then we have one ace in our sleeve and uh, I can dispel one immediately if I know where you are and I can see within 60 feet. <laughs> I think the, the range is larger. Hey oh, guys from Aldana, why is there always a cloud above you? And you're like, it's a new thing, it's called vaping, you should try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be fucking genius. You should try it, you know? Oh, oh, Trig is like, I'm here to sell my vaping things. 120. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I need to bu buy a pipe, and then uh, I'm, I'm just gonna be the, the crazy secretary that has a magical pipe that creates human form that starts uh, wobbling around. Um, oh, I love that yeah. idea so much. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um... Uh, <laughs> um... Oh, him, yeah, he's cursed, but I am not sure, but this cloud yeah. keeps following him around and raining on <laughs> Well, the, the, uh, to be perfectly honest, I would uh, like to have you all close because there is a third party that uh, I want you to keep, keep a very close eye on, and that is an acolyte called Galen Cockanews. Cocinius! Cocinius. Cockanoos is what I heard, yes? Yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> a year ago, when I was writing down his name, I'm like, Yep! It's gonna <laughs> happen. <laughs> Cocker news. Yeah. Cocker news. Uh, uh, co 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 Cocker news. Uh, Cocker He is... Now listen to this. If that doesn't sound uh, um, suspicious, I don't know what will. He preaches of the god, the omniscient one, an all-knowing god, also called the eternal flame, the all-seeing eye. Motherfucker. Yes. Uh, he's established a church, and he preaches that the under the guidance of the omniscient one, the Gaul kingdom should or shall be victorious in in war. And he has been whispering into some of the very, very important people that are very much not on the side of the prince. Even the king, the father of the prince, uh, is starting to listen to that one. He's not fully is... converted, but he's whispering into his ear. 
That has Same to be agent number nine or ten. Yeah. And he's supposed to have divine abilities. How well is that gonna work? Assassinating him. Yeah. So, uh, 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 Giscal Mercier is an enemy. He is a shrewd young man. He's supposed to be cruel and a soldier at heart, and he wants war with Ardana. And that's the brother, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the acolyte, and then there's that duelist. I don't know exactly what the duelist, duelist looks like, but uh, if there's anyone. I, th I think we might pick him out in the crowd. Uh, no, he, he knows that he is supposed to be close to Giscard anyway. Yeah, he's supposed to be clo close to uh, to Giscard, so uh, we should be able to spot him if there is anyone with a weapon, and that looks at any anyone so, so like racistly, then he will be the one. Uh, yeah. So, discuss this amongst each other, make a decision how you want to come in. I'm for having you close, at least most of us. Um, but it's also a gamble, especially with Treko. I don't know how, how good he can pull off that I'm representing Nebo. Hmm. I mean, he could, could represent the forces of Nebo, that would work. I mean, he's a proper soldier, right? Yeah, but... Does that work as well from Anna's perspective? Um, no, I don't know. No, no, no he, he he should. Well, I think I think I think he knows enough about Nebo to to be able to pull off um, like a general behavior. But when someone starts interrogating him and asking for trade routes and companies and you just say laws, vision, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It I I mean I I think he maybe he can distract them with his uh his uh unthreatening charm. Uh but the longer that we talk to anyone there the bigger the chance that any one of us is made out. Yeah, that's why I hope to be a cloud, but I understand yeah. the immediate access is important too. Yeah, yeah let's look. Yeah. I mean, if if anything happens, my immediate reaction will be to take out, uh, to get Anna and the princess out. Th that's the same person, the princess <laughs> and the prince. Oh, yeah, makes sense. As bad, good as, as I can. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, the prince has asked how likely I would find it that you might stick around without permission. So well, I think she wouldn't be too surprised if anything happens on the road. I do yeah, I mean, if she wants us there by the end of the road, it really doesn't make any sense to send us away in the meantime, to be perfectly honest. But whatever. Well, the road is uh, probably uh, could be more dangerous. Who knows? You're you're near. That's that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I need to attack the caravan with something that can kill everybody in under a minute. Yes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. In need to kill under a minute work. and six seconds. <laughs> the spell magic is probably too strong for that, to be honest. Um Yeah, I think I think I think that's pretty much it. That's everything that I got. Well, it's a lot. I'll a lot. try and recount everything to yeah. the rest make, of them in the yeah, morning. Make, sh make sure to pay attention to the acolyte and uh, and the duelist. And if we can take up the duelist, I think the world is for, for the better. If that guy dies, yeah, I think the acolyte needs to die too. In one way or another. Yeah, he because might otherwise... also be the the most aggressive party, and uh, I think we should. Uh, please warn uh, Zardas that he might be the most likely target for an attempt to for a duel. duel. Yeah, yeah, I will. And tell him that I will give him my uh, my uh, rapier because I should walk in with weapons there. That would make me look suspicious. 
So if oh, he wants okay. to utilize that, it helps okay. him raise awareness and be a bit quicker to react. Sure, I'll let him know. Thank you. Yeah, uh, that's probably anything else on your side. Otherwise, I will end the spell. All right. Oh, end the spell. All right. Anything else you guys want to do during the four or five days of travel? Any more planning? I mean, I will... Any conversations? Yeah, I wanna wanna talk to the princess and uh, and ask uh, what she thinks about the idea if we keep Aris out of the picture as a cloud. Uh, or, is no, not, not, not yeah. as a cloud, but that that we keep him out of out of sight and he comes in when we need him. Do you mean we do not introduce him at all, or we introduce yes. him and keep him locked up? No, we do not introduce him at all. He only comes in if... if anything were to happen that Zardos, Chego, Melora and I couldn't handle, or where and his... And then uh, what is your plan for his insertion? For Arliss? Yes. Well, He's security backup. Yes, but he cannot be hanging around the room invisible. That's gonna be noticed very quickly. Well, that's yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, it's still an option. If anything were to come of it, we have multiple ways cool, for him cool. to cloud for him. To, cool. <laughs> to keep him out of. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll t tell her about the class that we could. <laughs> Transform him into some kind of mist cloud form um, where he could stay quite far away. And. You can do uh, that? Since when have you yeah. figured out those kind of abilities? Oh, something that Melora does. Oh, Melora. Yeah. She yeah. never stops to surprise us all. Yeah. Awesome. One moment. He's quite. Hmm. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we do have that available. That means that we have one ace up our sleeve, but that would mean that if he comes in, that would mean that our cover is most likely blown right away. I am completely supportive of the idea of keeping him away from the goal nobility. I do, however, need to warn you that if you intend to keep him invisible or minimized or through any other magical means right next to you, there's a good chance he'll be noticed by the local mages. Even this That's... preacher that Matthew speaks about. Yeah, that's what I feared as well. That's why I'm personally for having him next to us, and I think I think he would be fine with being the the word short uh, uh, viscount who lets his servants speak more for him. I... Maybe he has something with the throat. He uh, has. A I trust you on that, Leus. I know that you will not fail me. I wish I could say I still understand. Arliss, but I learned that I don't, so I have no idea how he would react to this or what his... Well, there's one thing, if there's any threat, you can rely on that he will defend you with everything that he's got. I'm more worried about how far he's gonna go for that. As f yeah, I, I, I understand your perspective. Um, but he's not alone in Heron's Talon. He has friends with a, a very good moral. Co um, with combat. less destructive abilities? Yes. Well, it depends. If you challenge them to a, to a duel, they might prove to be stronger. But Just remember our goal here is not to kill anyone or win anything. 
Our I... goal is to you know, have the agreement go through. Yes. We need to go in, meet some people, and leave safely, securely, without anybody dying. If we make it back to Kryozunk, in one piece, without a war starting, we won a great battle. That's the goal, and I trust in uh, him that he knows what the goal is. But there are powers at work that might not care about this goal, and if they were to make a move, we will have to do whatever it takes to prevent... I understand. Just catastrophes. if you need to use force, try to use as little force as possible. It's okay to subdue a would-be assassin, but burning them to a crisp and destroying half of the castle in the process is not a good solution. That is also why I wish to keep Zardus and Dragon next to me, as their powers are more contained. Yes. Um... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, I think that's pretty much all I... All I have to discuss with her. I will, of course, inform um, uh, Arliss again that uh, we should... Uh, d we expect them to have mages and any... Um, and the Acolyte might also be able to uh, to spot him in magical form. Um, and that it's better to have him with us and uh, tr try to integrate him and um, as a Viscount. So we can all walk in and be in the midst of everything should anything happen. I mean... That adjustment makes sense, and I think uh, ours will pass every to the other three around. Yeah, I will also. Uh, yeah, I will also say that um, that everyone needs to keep in mind that any any violence has to be as precise as possible and according uh, uh, precise and, violence. I don't like that. And um, and. It should only come to it when there's absolutely no other way, but uh, we all know if any, like, any side of Oko would appear that we would have to do whatever it takes. But try to keep casualties to a minimum to everyone and keep cool and keep out of trouble and try not to provoke any anyone or anything. Ah. <laughs> That's all I say. Alright. Um, okay. Uh, how is everybody else on time today? Aside from... So... Um, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. You have to go? Bye. Yes, uh, I mean, I have an appointment later, or like a meeting, and play, um, we usually play for so I assume they would be going at this time, as we usually. And can you introduce six thrusts for a moment? I'm gonna do a bit more, and I think we'll be finishing up as well. Then uh, have a nice bye. evening, guys. Bye bye. You too. See, ya. See, See ya. some of you tomorrow or next week. See you tomorrow. Uh, he slick thruster is coming. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, you travel the rest of. Um, the days of your destination to uh, through goal. Um, to be fair, because the intent is to travel as quickly as possible to minimize risks, the caravan moves swiftly enough that you don't have much opportunity to, I don't know, leave and walk around and investigate places. I mean. The cloud guys can do that as much as they want, 
<laughs> you can have a tour of Gaul by this point. You could have like literally went south to Gaul, spent a couple of days in the resort and returned to the capital. I'm not gonna stop you. But, <laughs> assuming you don't, uh, the one thing that does uh, catch your attention, especially for Melora and Trega, is that you pass a lot fewer farmsteads that you're used to in Aldana. It's not like they don't exist, they exist, but it appears that they are not as numerous and the ones that exist... Well, I mean, it's hard to say right now what this is, their state is, because it's the middle of the winter and there are no crops. But they don't look very vast or prosperous. They look mm. pretty sucky. Let's put it that way. And uh, the few towns you do pass by... A lot of them look like the slums around Tre around Nebo. The ones outside of the walls with the... Of the walls? Yeah. Okay. So... There are like even some peasants and beggars uh, that try to approach the caravan despite the obvious dangers they chased away, but they try to approach the caravan for like... Um, uh, give me a copper, please, sir, like this, sir. But uh, place appears to be on a pretty low scale of personal wealth, and uh, the few like richer places you see, the disparity is also pretty serious. Well, in other words, the socio-economical situation in Gaul is very, very flimsy. Uh, but, uh, on this bright note, you will reach uh, Grand Coron, which I have not spelled out yet. Grand Coron. Uh, on the 15th of January. And uh, the plan is for everyone to rest for the remainder of this day. And uh, the 16th is gonna be the grand ceremony, meeting, greeting, ball kind of event. Where uh, Anna is supposed to be introduced to the ruling family where all of the nobles are gonna come, where the mixing is gonna happen, and most likely where you're gonna meet all of the nasty, nasty people that have been mentioned previously, and maybe more that have not been mentioned previously. Uh, so you will have like half a day to bring in the rest of the heroes' talents. Uh, like, thankfully, Jean Luc is in on the plan, so with him helping, it's not a problem to smuggle you guys into the castle. And then provide you with more official purpose for being there. You have half a day to change your disguises, uh, brush up on your stories, on your roles, figure out the rest of the plan. So basically, you can do that during the rest of the week. Come up mm -hmm. amongst yourself on your story, on your plans. Uh, but. <clears throat> one thing does happen. Uh, pum, 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 pum. Zardos, you get a message. Um, you, Zardos, you don't get a message, but considering uh. you didn't say you were doing anything during those days, uh, there are a couple times during your trip where you, like, basically uh, do maintenance on Thirst, and you're being very careful as usual, but she just manages to nick you on the finger or something. Uh, so a gentle reminder that time is ticking. Yeah. Um, the second blade remains inert and uh, cold so far. Um, 
I mean, you haven't tried to do anything with the Blitz what either, so he seems to be content to just mostly stay out of sight. Uh, however, what does happen as I'm trying to remember the composition... Nope, nope. I guess that would work. Mm. Eh, sure, why not? Uh, you, Leos! Get a dream. Oh, uh, you get a dream. Let me say when. Basically, night between 15th and 16th, actually. So it that's more been. info dump. Surprisingly enough, you get a dream from uh, Mr. Percussion. Percussion. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm here with update on our. A voluptuous friend that has been secured within our best accommodations. I am here to inform you that Lady Khazar has performed her work splendidly and the uh, one-eyed individual is singing like a proverbial canary. We have learned a lot, but we believe it is best if you return for the repeat of the story from the man himself. Uh, we suggest you do not wait too long for his hearing is to happen in a week and after that I do not expect him to be around for long. Furthermore, we have finished decoding the salvaged uh, communications and letters and plans from the laboratory that we have recovered Sadly, the damage is far more extensive than we would have hoped, so parts of their plans remain obscure. But we believe it would be of benefit to you to lay your eyes on those. Okay, uh, we will come as soon as we can. Thank you for informing us. Very well. Now I wish you luck in your current endeavors. And please don't cause a war. Have a good night. Good night. Um, quick question. Would I be able, um, after um, the the dream, would I have time to gather the group and teleport to Nabal? It's and on the then, And teleport back? Yes, but or... oh no no no! I will do do something different. I will on the next day. I will send a message to Trego, and I will tell him go to Nebo. Cerulius is singing. We have a week to get the information from him. What a better plan. Come back later. The slowest moving member of this party. <laughs> I don't have fast travel. I can't perform myself being a cloud. Fucking I can't. Laura has, treat... dude. Oh, you mean all of us? Okay, I thought only. Drake is like, fine! <laughs> Thirty feet, Mr. Step. Thirty feet, Mr. Step. Yeah, Thirty feet, exactly. Mr. Step. Dashing. I'm out of spells. <laughs> I'm send another message to to uh, to Melora informing her because I don't know what. Well, I mean, to be fair, uh, the plan is yeah. that um, basically, like on the fifteenth, you all get together. You are in the castle. Mm -hmm. And the night on the 15th, you get the dream, so you can literally wake everybody up and talk in person. Oh, okay, yes, okay. Well, in that, case, in that case, I will wake absolutely every fucking one. I mean, it's and... going to take me more than a week to walk there. <laughs> well, hun, hun, I, I can get us there faster. Uh, there were trees in the boat, right? Well, there is a there's tree only in the... Arm. Yeah, Lady Kazar's place. But, uh, yeah. oh, I thought only me. Oh. Um, I, I mean, do you all want to? Uh, I think you four should go. I will stay here. 
just in case anything happens there, uh, you can take care of it, and I will stay here and uh, protect the princess. And I... if it come becomes really dangerous, try to find a way to to contact me, and I will come in. But I would I like to it's... stay here. Sorry. No, go ahead. I'm done. Um, I know it's still a touchy subject, but are you sure you didn't want to find out what happened to me? She's dead. What do I want to find out? That she has been tortured before she was killed? If they no. even retrieve her, I've not seen any evidence of her existence beyond the moment where she was taken. Maybe I just dreamt it. He's gone for me. I'm sorry. It's it's okay. We always knew the risk of what could happen to us in our line of work. We have talked about these kind of events and we always say t said to each other, if we are taken, never come running. Because that is what the enemy is hoping for. She has taught me that, and I live by the words that she has taught me. Malora nods solemnly. I understand. Uh, Leas gives a half smile and says, uh, "Thank you for for mentioning." I'm okay. She gently puts have... a hand on the shoulder and squeezes a little. And smiles. I would inform Lady Kazar that you guys would come in via the tree. Um... Do we have time to... Not time. Can we go forth and back? Or... It'll take some of my strongest circles, but sure. So, you can in theory, if you live in the middle of the night, you are not getting a long rest, uh, but... Oh, I mean, I guess you can live in the morning. Uh, or, like, you can live in the middle of the night, then get a long rest. Um, then spend, like, half a day in Nebo, because the event in uh, Kron is supposed to be happening in the, like, second half of the day anyway. So, in theory, if you don't spend too much time in Nebo, you can come back in time. The only question is how many spells you're gonna waste on this. I mean, uh, I will also say uh, that... Um, that... He said that we could also, that we have like a, a, um, about a week to get the information. But he said you have a week to get information personally. Personally. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we would actually, or you guys would actually be able to, if I understood him correctly, to talk to Cerulius directly. Yeah. That's what he meant. Lady Kazar broke all the enchantments and he is singing like a bird. I and can't honestly, only understand birds if I cast a certain spell, but... Oh, you mean... Okay, sorry. I'm... It's fine. It's in the middle of the night. Uh, think about it. I will... Honestly, I... I... Trek the wise. I have heard enough of his rambling and... Why? Okay. But you have not heard the best of it. <laughs> also, uh, the plans that we recovered were uh, quite heavily burned. So uh, they couldn't uncover every plan they have, but they might may have some valuable information. And maybe you have some information about the, uh, the rest of the agents. Keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for any mentionings of Gaul. Make sure that if you talk to Cerulius, ask if there are any spies around here.
Well, I'm sure we're going to bombard him with all the questions in the You will take care of that. And if you don't ask the right questions, maybe the the guy that contacted me in the dream, I forgot his name, out of character. Um, is that his name? I don't know. Severus Spiritson. Yeah, he's that one. Right, if, sir. Oh, he's just, uh... Yeah, maybe he can fill fill some blanks if, if you forget to, man, to ask anything. I don't know. Um, yeah. And also, honestly, I don't expect that there would be some sort of fight if you go there, so... I think you should be a managed fine without me. <laughs> that look. If not, um, how about this? Contact Rubius if there is a fight. Uh, I will stay close to him because I will be near the princess anyway, and uh, Rubius will be close as well, and he can give me a warning if something happens. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, in case I would go to bed again and sleep. All right. With that, the Heron Stallions plan to split once again, trying to tackle two fronts to grab, grab Cerudus and his information in Nebo and to resolve the potential explosive situation in Gaul. Whether you succeed or cause another genocide level disaster, we'll find out possibly next week.